Jesus Christ. Oh, I feel dumb. New version of Joppa. Oh, cool. I'm gonna get these going. Now I feel beyond dumb. Whatever. Dude, now I fixed it and it it was such a dumb fix, dude. I feel I feel so stupid. I can't wait to tell you guys. Yeah, I feel beyond dumb now. <clears throat> yeah, but the thing was that your solution, it wasn't even a thing. It was a more, it was a more immediate thing. All right, I gotta let everyone on Instagram know I'm alive. I have a very large Instagram following. You know, I'm, I'm pretty popular. No, it wasn't unplugged. I'll tell you because I feel I feel really stupid trying to fix this issue. It's gonna be good. Just wait a second. <laughs> What's up, face stuffer? No, it wasn't that either, Rem. And even the sub wounded. Also, thanks for the bit earlier, Rem. You gave us off stream. Because I wasn't live. Chat, you have to understand that it's been a while since I've done this type of stream. So, you know, it takes a lot of setup. Also, when I get home from work, I have like 20 minutes to get ready. I should have planned the stream out an hour later than when I get home. So that, that one's on me. I'll admit that that one's on me. But I work kind of well with the pressure and time that I have. Okay. Not to roast you, but you should prep like weeks in advance. This is definitely not something that needs weeks in advance. It's just like a couple hours. Also, do you think I seriously prepped the other times I did this weeks in advance? No, I did as per usual. A day. This is not the type of stream that needs weeks in advance. Given what's needed and like what's expected of this stream, it doesn't need weeks. People need, people don't need weeks to expect this type of stream. It's not that crazy of a stream. Yeah, I, th I think I know what you mean, but. Oh, I have exaggeration blindness, sorry. All right. Yeah, this fix, man, though, let me tell you. Also, I need to balance it out when I switch to, but let's, all right, let's get started, everyone. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for me to rock your face off? Okay, I was actually waiting for a response, but okay, just fuck me then. There it is. Took you long enough? Yep. Do it. Thank you for a response finally. Let me switch. I'm using the headset mic. Okay, this is why it took so long. I'm upgrading. Okay, we got upgrades, people. We got performance enhancers. We got oxycotton. We got Benadryl. 
We got all the good drugs, all right? So here it is. All the things, all the things women ghost him after not replying after three picoseconds. Yeah, true. I I have things to, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a busy man. I got things to work on and do, okay? Oh, yeah, so chat, funny enough, the reason why I didn't stream or I didn't start streaming because I was having audio issues. I couldn't hear this mic in the playback recording test. Like, no matter what, I kept messing with the audio. And when I tested the audio in a recording, I couldn't hear this mic. So I kept messing around with the settings, you know, going to the sound settings, control panel, everything to hear it. And the reason I couldn't hear this mic or even my main mic that didn't work was because my video player, VLC, was muted. <laughs> like, you know, you know, like, like the video player where, you know, plays a video, the bottom right hand side, it was muted. No audio was coming out of the video. So I couldn't hear anything. So I thought the mic didn't work. <laughs> so, uh, that's why yeah, I spent like a good 20 minutes trying to figure out why uh, it was all muted. He's got no shoes. Of course I don't wear shoes. What kind of degenerate wears shoes indoors? You people, you people sicken me. Turn up the mic. Real newbie hours, yeah. I'm not showing you my feet just so you can see my socks. I don't wear shoes indoors because that's like Neanderthal caveman behavior. No one does that except for like, like degenerates and Canadians. Yeah, but that's why I was late. Okay. Also, I was adding a, I was adding in new things. Okay. One of the, I don't wear slides. One of the new things I added was this bad boy right here. This awesome uh, art thing I got commissioned to like make it official. Check it out, baby. The Doll de Met green screen presentation, baby. Now it's official. Officially recognized. Okay. We were so close to leaking his feet. I'm never going to show my feet on stream. I hope you, I hope you people realize that, all right? They will never, my bare naked feet will never, ever be on stream. Get that clear, please. There we go. I always wear socks, always. Also, when you walk around your hair, your hair, when you walk, walk, walk around your house, no socks, they get dirty. They pick up all the mildew and grime and dirt and trace feces that are left on the ground, especially if you have a carpet. You always wear socks. What's wrong with you people? Okay, anyway, yeah. So I got this com commission, baby. Official logo for the Deldimate green screen presentation. I don't have poop on my carpet. I'm saying that your shoes have trace amount of feces on it from when, like, when you walk on grass and dirt. That's how. I'm not purposely. Sounds swampy. It's some. It's some crappy, freaking, headset mic that like telemarketers use to scam you out of your credit card. That's the one I'm using. I had like a gain on it earlier. Check one two. How's that sound? Yeah, I need like a little mic little thing right there. How's the sound now? What's your opinion on Joe Biden dropping out? I didn't even know that happened since I don't care about political news, but... Cool. Yeah, Gert is oozing and dripping out of his damn penis tip. He's so excited for that one. Uh, I don't have an opinion on that one. That's like, whatever, I guess. Okay, cool. Your zipper's open? What? No, it isn't. You can't even see it. It's like, it's too much dark on dark. Okay, but... Okay, yeah, okay, that's yeah. I got this thing, baby, this new logo to make it official. Ultimate green screen presentation. <sighs> it's all official and cool looking now, baby. Thank you to uh, Dudette for making this in a quick moment. Um, also a cool thing, you guys can now also end the presentations. If you use exclamation point end, it will end the presentation whenever you want it. Because fr from rewatching the previous times, the presentation seemed to just go on forever with like one long narrative. 
that doesn't seem as good. So to keep them more like concise and concentrated, at any point you can just end a presentation by, by pressing exclamation point end. It'll bring up an end title card. Um, besides that, the regular accoutrements, the, uh, you use um, exclamation point green screen to change the image. It'll, brought up, it'll be brought up right here behind me. And I'll use that as slides for a live presentation I have to improv. That, that part's still on there. Uh, I think that's everything. Are you guys ready? Also, wait, can I see? That's right there. That's the start one. Oh, this is what it looks like, by the way. <laughs> the end, baby. I thought about making it like a probability roll. Like, if you use the end command, it's, there's like a 1 in 50 chance of it ending. Just so people aren't just like constantly just ending presentations left and right, left and right. But uh, whenever you guys are ready, you can start submitting images. Again, it a, a link to an image, preferably. But I don't think it worked. Did you have it correctly? Green screen. It didn't change. Why didn't it change? Hello? It's still stuck on this one. Wait, did that work? Wait, it must have been green screen. I changed the damn thing. Oh, it didn't save, it didn't save the edits. It's a damn bot. Okay, now it's working. I had to change the change the thing. This is professional, goddammit. A professional, when facing issues and tribulations, puts his head down and fixes it. That's what I did. I spent the last 20 minutes fixing a false audio issue and putting upgrades into this thing. So you complaining ass bitches can come in here, have a good time, and still poke fun. Because that's what I do. To make you happy, to make you entertained. Uh, no, they're not cute. They're instant. Just whoever puts in the most recent image, it pops up automatically. I thought about putting in a queue system, but that's for the next time I do this. That's that's the next upgrade, the next thing. Face up for you typed the link in wrong, damn it. Send some of your good clips. I'm going to make you a compilation video. Well, I mean, you can get my clips anywhere. You can get them from my Twitch page. You can get them from my clips channel. You can get them from TikTok. You can just get my clips anywhere. Face up, you put the link in wrong. Only 20% of it was highlighted. You damn old man. L look at your message. Only the top part of that link is linkable. What well, doesn't work on my side? Wait, why didn't it change? Wait, fuck. Also, by the way, I ex <laughs> I pressed the new button on my PC that reset it automatically, so some things may have been undone. Green screen beat. Son of a bitch, there's two, there's two of them. Why isn't it changing? It's the same name. Green screen changed. Please. Again, it's been months since I've done this type of stream. Give me a second. Can hear all of you judging me. Oh, 
raw input. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I hear you booze. Give me a second. It was just working before I accidentally reset the computer. Yeah, thank you for the boo, Angel. Thank you for that one bit, man. Real supportive. Commands. Green screen. I'm I'm seriously thinking I just mistyped the the word green screen. Yeah, and change the source. Yes. Okay. Okay, someone try it one more time. What the fuck, man? But did the reset change? Send a local file. Okay, it's, I don't know what's happening. I'm sorry. It was just working, man. Wait, why was it denying it? Grant allow. Why was it? Okay. Okay. I, okay. I think I got it. All right. Try again. Someone try again. I think it, it, it was on deny for allowing links. I don't know why it was on there. When was it on there last time? It should be working out. Just try just try a link, anyone. And there it is, finally. Christ alive. All right, let's reset this from the beginning so now everything is working. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Daldemic green screen presentation. A new type of presentation I invented. Uh, here you can submit links in chat to images the show up right behind me, and I'll use them to improv a live presentation as best as I can, as well as I can. You can use the command uh, exclamation point green screen. That simple. Also, yeah, it's not it's not cube based. It's just whenever you submit the image, it shows up. Okay. So welcome to my presentation, everyone. Hope you all have a lovely day today. Today we'll be doing a presentation on why. This man right here is bald. Now, some of you may be thinking the obvious thing. Common male pattern baldness, right? Actually not. You'll notice the environment this man is in, right? Vatican City. Vatican City is home to the second largest housing of nuclear weapons ever seen. Of course, America is first. But the trace radiation coming out of the ground of the Catholic Church has given this man early onset uh, leukemia. He's going to go through chemotherapy and, of course... The hair loss is expected. But so far, he's enjoying his peaceful life in Vatican City, being the Pope's right-hand man. He cleans off his Pope hat, his Pope robes, his Pope underwear. Actually, more at this point, it's more like Pope diapers, because the Pope is just that damn old. 
is an unfortunate tale. Uh, you can. <laughs> he cleans his Pope underwear out of, out of the uh, Pope stains. Indeed. Thank you, audience member who mentioned that. Also, at any point, if the audience does have any questions, concerns, or comments, just raise your hand and I'll uh, call upon you for your questions. Uh, not much else is known about this figure besides his uh, suffering of, of cancer. Uh, his shiny head, as you can see here. Well, not just a shiny head, but you notice the almost uh, oblong, is that the right word? Oblong shaped head is due to an early birth deformity. Now, luckily, the extracranial space was given to him by this sauce right here. This was a magical tomato sauce. You notice the peppers and the seeds in there. That, unfortunately, caused his head to, to kind of shape and bend like those old kids in the Andes. The extracranial space did allow his brain to grow even more, giving him about 30% more uh, calculation capabilities. He wanted to go to Harvard to help with the uh, their early uh, space development there. Quickly went to NASA and helped, be, helped build some of the best known spaceships ever known to man. Now it's kind of hard to say that, was this risk really worth it? A deformed head, early cancer, bald. Are those really worth it in, in the end? Because you know damn well being bald and with a weird looking head, he's getting no bitches whatsoever. I don't mean to poke personal fun at the man, but you know he's not getting any play whatsoever. Um, in terms of this sauce specifically, that's not needed. <laughs> in case you want to know where, the, where to get said sauce, you can get them from these people. These people are from a small local village in the Andes Mountains. You'll notice the orange coloring of their clothing. That orange signifies the rare pepper that spawns in the Andes Mountains, because that's where the only place they can make that sauce. And you notice that they're looking up at something and praying. They're praying to a very large pepper that they have in their village and praise it like a living deity. Sorry, a bit of technical failure right there. Uh, they start a new religion, Pepperism, the love and devotion to the one and only great pepper that creates this magic salsa. If you were to visit, visit this village, you'll be adorned in these great looking orange uh, scarves and uh, accoutrements and be asked to pray and show your undying devotion to the grand pepper. If you become a member of Pepperism, you will be granted a really slow moving image of this weather map. As you can see here, this is the future cast of the weather in Traverse City. Now you may be thinking, Traverse City, isn't that the city of Kingdom Hearts? Exactly. This is the first ever in-game map of the weather of Traverse City in Kingdom Hearts. Now most of you have never played Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <clears throat> in your entire life. <laughs> Let me uh, educate you here. Kingdom Hearts is a video game about um, a kid with a sword that looks like a key. It's called a Keyblade. And there's a bunch of Disney characters. You guys know Disney, right? Mickey Mouse, uh, Daffy, um, that dog. What's the dog's name? And then they all go to... Um, this 3D rendered image of a black hole. They dive deep into this black hole. They, they basically just plow straight into it, just full on in it. And once they do, they high five, baby. To celebrate a great mission. Now the purpose of Kingdom Hearts is not really known. The story is all kinds of out of whack. But luckily, my great friend, this guy, plays a lot of Kingdom Hearts. I mean, just look at him. He looks like someone who plays anime games all day. And you notice the, um, you notice how he's also bald? That's right. He was also living in Vatican City at the time, got exposed to, to all that horrible underground radiation and got cancer. 
And now luckily, remind me uh, later to fire my TikTok editor, by the way. This man right here, first of all, I don't know who this man is. I've never seen this man before in my entire life. Um, but it looks like he's doing something very, um, very interesting, very strange. Um, he looks very stupid in that bow tie. I'll give him that much. That stupid ass bow tie isn't helping anyone. Um, and does Dalda has Riz? Is that true or not? I wouldn't know. I've yet to peruse this media, so I'll leave that up for all of you to decide whether or not he does have that. Uh, seriously, what the fuck is my editor posting, man? Any questions so far? Any questions, concerns, comments? Vague threats against anyone? And that's the end. Thank you. Thank you all. Hope all of you enjoyed that presentation. Um, again, I know there's a lot of information going around and going through. So do any of you have questions, concerns, comments? Yeah, why didn't the end screen show? Is that another command I just couldn't fix? Okay, let me just click on the two wrong applications. Oh yeah, that also got deleted. Fuck. Okay, quick, hold on, quick diagnose, quick thing, quick thing right here. The end thing wasn't even working. <laughs> okay, yeah. any questions, concerns, comments? You can't go white face. I'm not going white face. No. Yeah, I seriously actually needed a breather. I was, at that point, I was just rambling. In case uh, you want any more information, ladies and gentlemen, there were some leaflets and pamphlets right there at the door. You can grab that. You know, in case you need to go to the bathroom or something, you just go right through there. You have a boner alert? No, I don't. Also, this camera is showing way more of my body than I thought. I thought it would show like only like right here. You can actually see my legs. God, I don't like that. I don't like how you can see my legs. <laughs> I meant to <laughs> come back to the beginning. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that presentation. We will now move on to our next presentation, ladies and gentlemen, of the Daldemet green screen presentation. I will now be giving you a presentation on why this man needs to be sent to jail. Just look at this man. He looks like someone who should be in jail. And this is what he looked like beforehand. God, look at that face. Look at that absolutely adorable face. You thought I was going to insult that face, didn't you? Oh, no. No, no, no. This is the face of a man. A man's a man. You notice the beguiled facial hair. The almost peachy-like consistency of the beard. Look at that smile, though. Look at that shiny face. Very light blemishes on the forehead, which he's taking care of that, don't worry. The almost positive, lighthearted disposition of his face. This is a man who deserves all the happiness and love in the world possible. And I know I, that may be a bit forward of me to say, and some of you may be wondering, well, who, who even is this man? Who is this very person, and why does he deserve so much? That doesn't matter. What matters is he is hung like a horse. That's what really matters, ladies and gentlemen. You know what else is also hung like a horse, ladies and gentlemen? Fucking button, man. Duck Dynasty. Who's in Duck Dynasty cast and where can I watch the show? Now, even though Duck Dynasty was a very popular show at the time, it's got a little more, uh, you know, underground sort of cult following after the uh, series ended. Duck Dynasty follows um, a group of men with very long beards. 
And of course, because of that, they have very long beard combs. And because of that, they spend a lot of money on beard care products. Now, unfortunately, 60% of the show's budget was spent on facial care products, which of course led to the downfall of the show. But these men with their beards go out on their boats and go out shooting ducks and other wildlife. Who wouldn't want to see a show like that? The show ran for about 15 seasons while they were exploring the uh, Florida Everglades, shooting all species of ducks. They killed so many ducks that they killed off two entire species. They have gone completely extinct in the filming of that show. But for one quick second, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to this handsome devil right here. Goddamn, look at that smile. That is a smile that makes children laugh, that makes parents happy, that makes world peace seem possible. This very smile. It looks like Scorsese himself directed this composition. Look at this shot. Look at the beautiful cinematography here. The sort of placement of the dark colors on one section, the light color on the other sections. The focus of the character on the side, not the center because he's not egotistical, but off to the side to still show his presence, but to still make himself noticeable. This looks like a still from actually a great film. I don't know what the name of the film is, but God damn it. If I saw a man like this, I'd want to kiss him in public without his consent. I would literally just run up on a guy like this and just, just face punch him with my mouth. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen, that you have? Any concerns you want to state or mention? Oh, we have a question over here. What is that? Whose death would I celebrate? Uh, you know, the death of murderers and pedophiles, Canadians, those kind of people. That's a that's a great question. What, what was your name again? C C CD Rems. That okay. That's interesting name. Uh, very lovely. Any other uh, questions, concerns, comments? Threats against my life you want to make? Oh, what was that? C CD Rim Job. Okay. Let's see, even, even better name. Is that God Given? It's, it's a lovely name. Cool. I'm just waiting for more of my images to load in, ladies and gentlemen. It's, uh, my presentation is heavy loaded. There's a lot of back-end uh, load on the server, so just give it a second, and then we'll get more images going. Chad, I can only improv for so long on an image talking about myself before it just looks weird. So whenever you're ready, chat. Why is my arm? I'm trying to. I'm. I'm leaning on the wall, but my arm keeps getting cut off. That doesn't work. Okay, what more can be said about this man? I mean, obviously, incredibly handsome. Hair that makes bald people jealous. Abs that seem to just bust through their shirt. He has the triceps and biceps. Of a man so strong, if he was to flex even 1%, it would cause a rip in the space-time continuum. It's just quite, quite a lovely man. And here is actually an artist's rendition of the man at his most poorest state of living. Right here. Now, you'll notice the Lu Luigi, the Luigi figure right here. This is not a plush doll of Luigi. This man literally reincarnated Luigi brought him from the virtual life into the real life. That's right, the first ever implementation of virtual to real life technology. And now this guy and Luigi are best buddies. Of course, Nintendo heard about this news and he is currently on the run from Nintendo assassins to uh, fight for his life. 
They want to take away what's up, Ohio. They want to take away his best friend simply because Luigi is Nintendo property, as they say. But as we all know, people are not property anymore. They are distinct, unique individuals. So God only hopes that this man st- remains safe and these two can be best buddies forever. And luckily, that man also is a. F- you guys can't put like image links, please. You keep submitting the website link and then it shows all this garbage. Oh, we have a question over here. How high am I? I'm not high at all. I don't. I don't do drugs. But thank you for the. No, it isn't, dummy. If it was the image link, it would only show the image. This is the Imgur website, dummy. So thusly, you submit the website link, dummy. I'm surprised a 40-year-old man like you, who uses computers every day, does not know the difference between an image link and a website link. Thusly, this one. Another website link submitted by a 40-year-old, croned out, hunched over, arthritis, bones destroyed, every second of their life man who can't submit an actual image link. It does do... Okay, let me stop yelling at random people and do my presentation. Lastly, this one. Twitter... It's not broken. It works. You're not submitting the image link, you dumb... F- oh, my God. Why is my audience 40-year-old Canadian men and 14-year-old Brazilian kids? Why is that? Where's the middle ground? Where's the middle ground in my audience? Face over. How about you right-click on the image, click on Open a New Tab. See, the link is different, and that is that, that's the image link, and you can submit that one, man. I did, you fool. Okay. Sorry, I, I, get, I need to school an old man on how to use damn computers. Like I'm speaking to my grandfather. Okay, so I go to Imgur, right? Click on this image, website page, right click, open image, a new tab. Get this link right here. Then I copy it, go in chat, exclamation point, green screen, image link, paste that. And then I show this. Oh, fuck, it is the image. Where's the website? What the fuck? All right, whatever. <laughs> I seriously thought I wouldn't show it. All right, still, you're an old man. I beat you in age. Okay. Oh, yeah, and also this one. If you thought Trump was racist and misogynistic before... You you won't believe what's on the bottom of this image. Ooh, scathing. I mean, last time I tried it, it's it showed just the image. So maybe there's there's like a different link or I don't know why. Yeah, maybe it's just Imgur itself, even though it's supposed to be like an image website. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking to the talking to my myself right now, working it out. Maybe, yeah, maybe it is just Imgur. I don't know. Unfortunately, I'm not in my mid-20s rem. I wish I was, but no. Okay, I seriously thought, okay, I guess it won't work. Just do your best to submit image links and not the website link. If it doesn't work, then just screw it. I'll just continue on like the improv god that I am. This woman right here. Is racist. You know how you know why she's racist? Because she punched an innocent man in the face. Look at that. Senseless, brutal violence. Hold on, I'm thirsty. Senseless, brutal violence. A woman just straight up punching a man in the face. I wouldn't believe it. Wouldn't believe it even if I if even if you had to, if you told me. No. But fortunately, she didn't know that this was recording. There was a secret dash cam in this house.
because you can put dash cams in houses, by the way. Recording her violence. Now, for some reason, she has yet to see jail time for assault and battery. Maybe one day, one day it will come around that she uh, will be put down. The, the death penalty is what I'm saying. I know some of you are shocked by that news. Do you really deserve the death penalty for just a simple assault charge? Yes, obviously. You do. If you hurt someone, you deserve to die. It's that plain and simple. Now, I can see by some of your expressions, you're kind of shocked by that statement. Kind of a controversial opinion. I understand. But luckily, you can support more of these controversial opinions by donating to my cash app. Dollar sign, dollar mid, baby. Uh, support me saying more controversial things and more silly things and more stupid things with this cash cash app tag. I seriously forgot I had a cash app, dude. I I really forgot about that since I don't even I barely use it anymore. Nice. You can tell. You can tell I forgot about it because my old profile picture is still there. That that's my old profile picture from like a year ago. I haven't touched it since. Um. I mean, yeah, you can donate donate to that if you want. Yeah, you, you, but you just don't know how how hard my life is. You know, I'm. 300 pounds. I play Call of Duty every day. I hate Call of Duty. This, this is why I have to eat back. You know, I, I had just had surgery. Um, people on the internet just laugh at me all day. So I must turn out to eat begging. I literally just noticed you changed the profile picture. Are you like face suffer? I don't. I don't know what you pay. I don't know what you look at. I don't know what any of you look at when you look, when the stream is going on, but yeah, you definitely don't look at this face right here. No one wants to look at that face. You just now realized I changed it? it it's been like weeks. It's been like weeks. Well, no, on the, at least on the Cash App one. That one has been like weeks, yeah. This man is, uh, yeah, I think it was more weeks. This man, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, is in your area. Now, just by looking at him, you can tell him what kind of crimes he commits. Clearly the type of crimes that you don't want near a neighborhood or a children's playground. This head contains great evil. Evil that has never been seen before on this planet. Evil worse than Genghis Khan. Evil worse than natural disasters. Evil's more worse than vegans. I'm trying to do a joke, but my hand won't load in. I was going to do like a face tickle thing, but it wasn't working. I, what's your obsession with this dude, Face Stuffer? Why this guy? Like, this is clearly funny to you, but I don't get why. Here's another image of uh, the local. He's got gator skin. This man is the first ever gator skinned man. You think, oh no, you think he may be black, right? But he's not. What this is, is skinned and replatformed alligator skin that's been browned and roasted and darkened by a scientific process. Uh, it's amazing at this point he's been able to still live because gator skin is not known for being very breathable. But yet he lives a very prosperous life, continuing to go on with half alligator skin. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, this guy looks like he uh, he's like a sex sexual assault or I mean... I don't know what else to what else to go off on. He looks like someone should not be around children. And with that new gator skin stuff, you know, makes him just even more creepy to look at. This is now a presentation on local uh, 
local pedophiles in your area. This is one of them. Uh, if you see them, report them to the cops. This is another one too. Now you'll notice this this comment right here: RoboCop getting his robo schlocked. <laughs> this is a f image of a deleted scene of RoboCop that was taken. Hold on. Lovely as always, ladies and gentlemen. OBS just crashing out of nowhere. I'm pretty sure it did this yesterday too. It just just crashed. Okay. Let's try it again. We'll, we'll, we'll take that as just like a natural end of that presentation. Because that one was going on forever too. By the way, Chad, remember, you can end presentations with exclamation point end. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Daldemit green screen presentation. Today, I'll be giving you a presentation on why I totaled my car. Now, I will admit I'm not the best driver around. In fact, last time, when I drove my car, I purchased this sexy lobster costume. <laughs> now you may be wondering, Dalda, do you actually look good in that sexy lobster costume? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I wore it one time for Halloween. It was the Halloween of 2016. Uh, I was in New York, just trying to, you know, live my best life, dressing as, you know, that thing. And luckily, I got a lot more candy than a lot of other people would, would assume. And apparently, I got a lot of phone numbers, too, from a lot of men. But that's not the uh, important part. The important part is that this lobster costume is what brought to me to stardom. Brought to me, brought me being the best known presenter of all time. I mean, that's why all of you are here, right? Because you saw my images of me in that sexy lobster costume on Instagram. You see, you don't always have to pretend. I know why you're here. But that costume, sadly, brought me to great pain and despair. This is a picture of me in my new car. That's not totaled yet. You see how sad I am in this picture? It's because I'm partially bald, but also because I lost that lobster costume. I lost it in a horrible house fire. One year after that... Halloween, on the next year's Halloween, because that's how time works. A horrible cooking fire from, that, from my kitchen burned my entire house down, and I lost that lobster costume. There was so much history in that lobster costume, so much sweat, gristle, and blood. It will be missed. That suit essentially made me. If I didn't put on that suit, I would not have been known ever. No one would have, no one would have paid attention to me. But... When I thought it couldn't get any worse, I crashed my other car. I'm starting to think I don't know actually how to drive. The guy who gave me my driving test didn't even speak English. He, in fact, spoke Xenomorph. Now, you would think aliens actually know how to speak multiple languages given how smart they are, but this Xenomorph was way too brutalistic, way too animalistic. His main focus was just to spit acid on people and bite their faces off with his like second, you know, mouth thing. You know how like xenomorphs have a mouth and then they have like a mouth in their mouth? He ate so many people's faces with that second mouth. But, I mean, you and I both know that second mouth can do a lot of things. You feel me? <laughs> do a lot of things with that second mouth. But luckily that xenomorph also crashed his car. The sweet karmic justice 
that goes around. I lose my car, I lose my house, I lose my lobster costume, he loses his car. But as you can see, the Xenomorph actually survived uh, this car wreck. He's not dead, he's still traipsing around on planet Earth right now, and he could be in your neighborhood. So, you know, lock your doors, close your windows, shut or close your chimneys. Because that Xenomorph is still out there. I'm just going to warn most of you about it. Uh, but as you can see, this car wasn't totaled as much as the other one was. My car, my two of my other cars. This car only got rendered a little bit by the train because the conductor saw, saw the car there slow down the train just enough for a slight collision. And somehow, some way, Xenomorphs have great car insurance. I had no car insurance because, of course, why would I crash my car? I know how to drive my car. History says different, but I think so, I do. And even better yet, the Xenomorph crashed another car, baby, right there into a roof. A lot worse damage, much worse damage. And because that Xenomorph got fired from the DMV because he couldn't give out a driver's license test to save his life, he had no car insurance for this one. He had to pay out of pocket for this car, and I finally got my sweet comeuppance. Him ruining my life. And now his life is ruined. I mean, even with this paying out of pocket, he can't afford his spaceship to go back to his home planet. So again, he's stuck here on planet Earth. I'm actually warning you, ladies and gentlemen, about a xenomorph walking around in your possible neighborhood. And you know he won't be shy with that second mouth. He will do horrible things to you with that second mouth. One of those horrible things that he can do This chicken. This chicken was my boss at the DMV. I also worked at the DMV in case I didn't mention that. He was, the, he was one of the best drivers I ever knew at the DMV. That's why he was the boss. As you can see here, he's driving just with his feet on a good road. No car crashes in sight. He was the best one. He used to be a Formula One race car driver, but the life got too exciting, too exhilarating. And unfortunately, as all men do, you get too old. So he decided to sort of retire, become a DMV boss. He was one of the best bosses I ever had. Paid me well. We talked about our love of chicken nuggets. I learned everything from this man. It just sucks because this man was secretly Tom Cruise in a chicken suit. Now, I know what you're thinking. Mr. Presenter, you're a goddamn idiot. How could you not know that was Tom Cruise in a chicken costume? Well, first of all, it was a life-size chicken, like just normal chicken size. It wasn't like a giant chicken suit. So that was the one giveaway. And second, I was just enthralled and enamored by his driving skills to truly focus on that obvious seam in the back of the head where he would unzip the chicken costume. So, you know, blame me for being amazed and wanting a good mentor for my job. But of course, Tom Cruise, as always, eats KFC. Now you're seeing the obvious distinction here. Why would a man who dresses as a chicken also eat chicken? That's some weird, like, self-mutilation, like, cannibal type thing. I mean, you know, of course, Tom Cruise is a member of the uh, Scientology cult. So who knows Who knows what they get up to? Who knows what they do? What uh, gods they pray to? And apparently what sick, disgusting things they get up to with chickens. This is why I don't watch Tom Cruise movies. I have never seen Mission Impossible. I know, I know you're all disgusted by that fact. But Mission Impossible is a classic. It's not a classic. It was produced by silent Scientology. Now you may be wondering, what Scientology Easter eggs are put into Mission Impossible? That's very simple. Number one, Tom Cruise. The man who is the face of Scientology is in Mission Impossible. That's the most obvious sign that all of you missed. All of you missed that obvious fact. Second, later on in the second movie, you can see a modified 
Tom Cruise figurine in the movie? Why would they put a Tom Cruise figure in a Tom Cruise movie? What kind of Easter egg could that be? What's up, Larry? That makes no sense. What that was was self-referential meta-humor, an invention of the Scientology cult. People think, oh, the internet came up with ironic humor. The internet came up with meta-humor. No, 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 no. They stole that from Scientology. Those sick fucks poisoned us with irony. Now, you may be wondering, what is irony poisoning? That's very simple. It's when the mask you live under is living under yet another mask. When your genuine self is so hidden under so many layers of irony, post-irony, meta-irony, post-meta-irony, you have no idea who the true you really is. You lost all sense of identity. Just like this couple. Now you see this man cowering behind this woman? Scientology has ripped Tom Cruise of his masculinity. No sense of confronting danger and being headfirst and strong and brave. No. Scientology has absolutely ruined this man and made him cower and let a woman catch the bullets. This is what Scientology does to people. I'm here to warn all of you about, first, rogue xenomorphs in your neighborhood, and second, the dangers of Scientology. Now, I, I must preface this. If I disappear in the next couple of days mysteriously, you know who did it, okay? It wasn't a suicide. It was Scientology. Now, I have to admit, I have to admit, I did see the third Mission Impossible movie because it was just that good. It was amazing. Like Tom Cruise on like the that tower in Dubai. What is it called? Like the, the Burj Khalifa. That that giant tower scene, that was amazing. I, I, I love that scene. But besides that, I hate Mission Impossible series. All, all the other movies suck compared to that one. And you'll notice, people, the car that they're in, guess whose car that was? That's right. That was the chicken's car, my boss. <sighs> the dirty bastard stole my boss's car right before he croaked, or I guess clucked. Yeah, my boss is dead, by the way, if I didn't mention that also. <laughs> I've been narrating for like way too long. A member chat, you can end the presentation whenever, exclamation point end, to stop me from rambling. Please, thank you. And that's the end. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I don't know why I'm clapping my own presentation. And that's the end of that presentation, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. It was almost over, but I couldn't like find a way. I couldn't find a way over there to it. I can find the the way there. All right, and that was the presentation. Any uh, questions, concerns, comments, vague historical facts you want to share? No, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I did my best. What was that? Oh, am I single? Uh, you know, I'm, you know, married to my job, essentially, you know, very committed. But in terms of, you know, a woman in my life, I don't have one just yet. Thank you. That's a very personal question, but thank you. Any other questions, concerns, uh, comments? Anyone want to hear my nacho cheese recipe? What was that? Can you see my... No, you can't see my feed. What? No. This is a professional presentation. What do you want about? No. Any non-weird questions? Yeah, comrade, you're like... You're late. I don't know how long. What do you mean sex? That's not a question. That's just a word. Any sensible questions? You just said the same thing. That doesn't make it different. Well, if you do need any any more information, there are plenty of uh, pamphlets, leaflets around. You can grab one. What was it? 
spits or swallows? What does that mean? What spits? Mist or beast? I don't know, mist, I guess. They used to drink Sierra Mist. Any questions like pertaining to the presentation or is it just like random nonsense? Okay, but if you guys are ready, we can move on to the, to the next presentation. Would you grow a beard? I mean, this is, this is as most as my beard would go. I've had this for like, for years. I think this, this is the maximum it will grow. I was actually considering shaving, too. I was considering shaving all my facial hair. I'm, I might do it, but probably not. Because I think my look, my look is too uh, complete with the facial hair. Like, I'm, it's, it'll look stranger without facial hair. So I think I'll, I'll definitely keep it. But this is as most it will go, man. I, I, I got short beard. Short beard, short mustache. I mean, it would be a new era because I started off streaming with no facial hair. I might do it. I might. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Doll the Medic green screen presentation. Today, I'll be giving you a presentation on something very important. A presentation on why you should never visit the evil ass rape building. Now, unfortunately, you see me, I'm right there, right? I, of course, visited this building just to traipse the scene, see how dangerous it truly was. And yes, it, it is very dangerous due to the very, uh, you know, obvious naming convention that this place has. You should not visit this place. It is quite dangerous indeed. You want to know why it's dangerous? Because there's a man there. A man named Mr. Ass. And what Mr. Ass does, his full name is Evil Ass. Please don't laugh at his name. Okay, this is a very serious matter. Yeah, please. Yeah, please be professional. Okay. Mr. Evil Ass, he owns this building. He purchased it 20 years ago from a... Comanche Indian. The horrors that have taken place in this building. The evils that pertain in these walls are best to remain in these walls. I have seen some great, terrible things in this building. And you may be wondering, why haven't I reported these things? It's because I have mental illnesses. This is one of them, as you see here, visualized in the visual form. There hasn't been a name for this one yet, but as you can see, I am suffering a great deal in this image. My eyes split open, dead, monotone expression, forehead widened. Unfortunately, there's no cure for this one. I'm still suffering from this illness, whatever it is, to this very day. Please pray for me. A moment of silence is also. Amen. Now, luckily, before I was afflicted with my horrible brain disease, I was buff as hell. Look at that. Now, you'll notice the difference in hair, right? That's because I visited Little Italy. This is a great selfie I took while I was in Little Italy. Little Italy. Uh, you know, I had some, you know, changes to my body done recently. You know, I, you know, I'll admit it. I've had work done on my body. Okay, I've had a plastic surgery done. Okay, I'm not proud of it, but you know, sometimes you want to look good. Sometimes you want to look good, and look how good I look in this picture. Look at that baby. Absolute stud muffin. I'm getting hard just from looking at it, man. <laughs> this is after another surgery I had gone under. It was a widening surgery. Uh, 
I mean, you know, it, it helps. You know, I'm I'm very tall, but it helps to be tall horizontally. Now, some of you may some of you may be thinking, oh, isn't that just called fat? No, not fat. Horizontally gifted. That's what I am, baby. I'm I'm horizontally blessed. Now, before you see a fat person and call him fat or flubber or Shamu's girlfriend, no, horizontally blessed. You know what's worse? Because if you're not horizontally blessed, what if you're the inverse of it? You're so small horizontally wise that bro doesn't even exist. Pray hands, pray hands, crying emoji. Which one would you rather occupy? Would you rather exist, have substance and mass and weight and length and depth, or not even exist? Frankly, I take the first option. I take the first option because when you exist, you grow, you change, you meet new people, make new friends, acquaintances. And yes, that is me with longer hair that I had in the past before demons took away my long locks, my beautiful luscious locks of hair. And you see, I'm, I'm operating a, an eight ball that says you will get world record. That means you, you will get world record. That's right. I believe in you. That current grind you're on right now, that hustle that you're doing right now, I know all you're on one. You will get world record, all of you. I believe it. This man believes it. The Pope believes it. The Mario brothers believe in it. By the way, did you know that Mario in the Ouija's last name is Mario? Mario's full name is Mario Jumpman Mario, which means Luigi's last name is Luigi Mario. I bet you didn't know that, right? Yeah, a little factoid for you. God, I wish I had a bigger beard. I'm actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I wish my beard could grow longer. Because I like the idea of like stroking a long beard. I also like the idea of not drinking alcohol. Why drink alcohol? What's the point of it? Why was humanity's first ever inventions alcohol? Did man need to get drunk that fast so soon? Were the troubles of life in reality so terrible that man immediately sought out a, a, an escape to it? Yes. I mean, of course, prostitution is the first job ever created. Alcohol is the second. One of humanity's oldest hobbies slash pastimes. But you know what I say? I say nay. I say nay. I'm a horse. Thank you all for watching. Any questions about that presentation? Any concerns, comments? Do you want to hear my chili recipe? Would you like to share your chili recipe? That actually was a great end to that presentation. I said I'm a horse as an ending to that presentation. Was it between feet? If you, okay, if, if you're one of the people who keep asking me to show my feet, I'm never showing you my feet. No. Dep depends on what? On the evil ass for a building? I mean, it's clearly in a terrible building. Mr. Evil Ass has done some horrible things in that building. I can't, I can't even make myself remember such horrible things. I've shut them away into a tight little box, shoved into a corner. Can I see them toes? No. And if you ask one more time, I'm going to have security throw you out for being a vagrant, nuisance, degenerate, and all other things. This thing from sleeping off. All right. New presentation, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Daldemet Green Screen Presentations. We will now move on to our new presentation, where I'll let you know on something very important. I will let you know why.
Soccer accidents are the number one killer of men in this country. Nay. Nay. I'm a horse. In the world. Look at this topple this man's going through. He is toppling and hurt so much, he became a Nazi. He was hurt so bad, so horrible by that soccer accident, that he is now in the use of an iron lung. By the way, there's only two iron lungs, I think, still functioning in the current century, or like one ever. He is using one of those. And it's so bad, so horrible, his body is so disfigured that a caution sign was put up around the neighborhood so people knew that a man is suffering a great, great damage to his body. Caution. Iron lung being used. Call dispatcher before causing any interruption. It's truly a sad reality in an iron lung. Trapped in a cocoon of metal pumps and heat. Born to live out the rest of your days as a metallic worm. What was it? Caterpillar. That's what I was going to say. Metallic caterpillar. But luckily, if you're stuck in an iron lung due to an illness, you can... I was going to use another image, damn it. You can use some humor. So here you go. Want to hear a joke? Women's rights. Now, I'm not sure if the man in that iron lung will laugh at such a joke, given how crass it is. But one can only hope that some humor can be found within that man. Maybe to brighten his day, make him slightly more happy. And maybe one day he will turn to the game of soccer or football, as other people call it. I, w I was really hoping to use that previous image that was shown there, comrade, but you got being out, sorry. Now, I've heard plenty of jokes in my life. I've made some jokes in my life. This is top tier. food. This man is eating a bronzed sausage patty. As you can see, he is enjoying it. He is loving that patty. He is sucking down that meat like there's no tomorrow. That's something new, though. That's something new. We've all sucked down meat at various speeds and intensities, but this man seems to have a nice, euphoric, elated sense of joy in his, in, on his face from eating this meat. Probably because he watched anything funny comedy open mic. He watched that. Now, at, at this open mic comedy session are some of the funniest comedians that I've ever seen. Some of the funniest comics ever made. I don't like how you can see my legs, damn it. I really don't like that. My legs are not for sale. Gotta stay closer by. Actually, let me... Okay, there you go. What was I talking about? Damn it. This image, ladies and gentlemen. You see this picture of steak? Followed by, where from? I made it. I hope all my brothers make it. The beautiful camaraderie and sense of positivity in this message. It's almost, it's almost heartwarming. I was moving some equipment. Just the love that's shown here in this message, it almost brings a tear to my eye. So I need more room. But what's even more important is the love that's shown in this location. And most importantly, why? 10 reasons why fuck it is the perfect holiday destination. Beautiful friendships are formed in this place. The beautiful lands of fuck it. 10 reasons why you should visit this place. One, it's funny. Two, the water, beautiful, crisp, blue-green kind of teal coloration to it. This kind of water you only find in like archipelagos and Sri Lanka. Number three, unlimited hot dog buffet. Now, you know, that seems kind of limiting. Why only hot dogs? Because 
you can fly those hot dogs on your airplane. Number four, why you should visit Fuck It, free airplane rides. You also get custom-made Adidas, the unisex child predator 20.3 indoor soccer shoes. Now, if this isn't selling you on why you should visit Fuck It, I don't know why. Like, what other reasons do you need? Look at these reviews, 45 reviews on these ones. That means 45 satisfied customers who, who have visited the beautiful lands of Fuck It. Now, if you don't want free hot dogs, airplane rides, and child predator shoes, you and I can't see eye to eye on anything, unfortunately. Now, this may be a lot of information. Again, you can get those pamphlets and leaflets at the entrance for more information and details on, on this presentation. Now, number reason five, you should visit the beautiful lands of Fuck It. The people, the natives there are amazing, loving people. They will adorn you with orange pants, red jackets, and green hats. Now, you may be wondering if you get sick at this place. What's the infectious disease like? Well, luckily, a question has been asked just like that. If homosexuality isn't contagious, then why do I always have Exhibit A? Now, this woman is definitely sick. She's vomiting up something. She's like, <laughs> vomiting something up horrible. Now, she may be contagious with the disease that was just mentioned here. But Laura hopes that she got help because she's in a public area and you don't want to infect other people with it. I'm actually kind of wondering what that other question just said about homosexuality. I was kind of wanting to read that. But as you can tell, this woman has clearly not visited the land of fuck it because there are no sick people there. They have the great healthcare system ever made in the 21st century. I don't, know, I don't know how to jump to this. Anyway, if homosexuality is not contagious, then why do I always have a map of the United States? Why is that, huh? You may be wondering. That's because gay people live in America. That's true. There are homosexuals in America, and they do this very often. As you can see, they've taken the unlimited supply of hot dogs from fuck it and just start, just start porking it, just start pounding it in, into their fists in this kind of manner. I'm pretty sure I've seen this image before on the last time we did the green screen presentation. You have submitted this image before face tougher. I know you have. My memory, memory isn't that bad. Anyway, enough about this fictional person named face tougher. Dude, I was kind of wondering that question. Another, the number six why you should visit the beautiful lands of fuck it is because of the sauce they have over there. The amazing salsa, homemade salsa they have in fuck it is to die for. Literally, people have died trying to get this salsa on the plane rides and boat rides to that place. People have passed away. That's how good the salsa is. It is salsa met branded salsa made by an ancient chieftain in one of the villages. Now, it's just a giant rumor what this place even, what that even tastes like, but it's said to be the best tasting sauce ever. The end. Also, I should mention that this stream is sponsored by Salsa Mint Branded Salsa from the beautiful lands of Fuck It. They've been gracious enough to donate to this presentation uh, lecture. So thank you, Salsa Mint Branded Salsa, for sponsoring this presentation. Any questions, concerns, comments about this presentation? I don't know what that means. And I'm not saying that word. Can I call you disapprove when you bowed? Oh yeah, because it's like facial recognition. So like, I think it also works if I, if I turn around. 
It's like it's like I teleport. Watch. Check out my instant teleportation trick over here. And we're over here. I'll check it. Okay. I'm going to disappear, visit a restaurant, and then come right back. Oh, it didn't work. God damn it. All right, let me try it again. Wait, I think it only works if I bow. Uh, let me try it. Let me try it when I bow. Okay, I'm going to leave, go to a fast food joint, and then come right back, all right? All right, I came back with some Wendy's. I have instant teleportation magic. I'm surprised none of you even knew that. Oh, no, my wires got tangled up. Okay. Yeah, I'm the Flash, by the way. I, I don't mean to reveal my secret identity, but yes, I am the Flash. I am Flash Gordon. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to keep my identity a secret to protect my loved ones. Alrighty. Welcome now, ladies and gentlemen, to the newest Daldemet green screen presentation. I am your host, presenter Daldemet, obviously. And we will now begin the presentation on why you should become a DJ. Now, obviously, DJs are not the most lucrative job or position around, but look at the ingenuity and DIY vigor of the DJ. Look at this. And what's great about being a DJ is a lot of space. Look at this tremendous office space that DJs have. Now you notice me right there in the corner, right? That's to scale, right? That's me. That's the desk that the average DJ uses when they're DJing music. And you know what they say? A man is judged solely by the size of his desk. The bigger the desk, the bigger the man. Now this is mostly just a regular office space to again, show you the scales of, and the sizes of everything. But DJs earn so much that they got these amazing desks. And, and even more impressive, it's an L-shaped desk, which means plenty of leg room. You got drawers on each ends of the L. Plenty of space for your turntables, your vinyls, and everything. Now, here is one testimony from one of, the, one of the most successful DJs ever made. DJ Skeleton. This was a DJ. He's now retired now. DJ Skeleton was a famous DJ out in Orlando who had one of the biggest desks ever. Now, unfortunately, he got so obsessed with the concept of desks and tables and furniture. He had some very uh, painful elective surgery to literally transform his body into a table. His new dream of becoming table furniture was finally realized. And also he's not dead, by the way. He's still alive as this furniture. He lives a totally sedentary life as someone's living table furniture. And of course, it scares the hell out of them every time they turn on the lights, but he's happy. He's very happy. One of the reasons you should become a DJ is that you get instant floating powers at the beach. The second a DJ steps on the beach, they instantly start floating and become a skateboard or a hoverboard, depending on which generation you truly want to uh, assign to, which lingo fits your jive. DJs are, DJs are gifted great powers when they go to the beach of instant floating and skateboard orientation. If this isn't reason, like a good enough reason why for you should become a DJ right now, I don't know what else will. 
this is the closest humanity has ever come to sort of like a flying telekinesis type build. And you notice this man on his back, right? This man is not to scale. This man is really small. That's right. When you become a DJ, not only do you get flotation powers, you become bigger. You enlarge yourself literally, physically. How do you not want to become a DJ now? It's literally the best gig, gig you can possibly find. And once at the beach, you start spinning that shit like... As you can see, I was a DJ beforehand, before I became a world-class presenter and lecturer. Now, this is a more modern DJ setup. No vinyls, no um, uh, needles on the thing. Oh, by the way, did you know there are different needles for DJs to use, depending on if they want to scratch it or just play the, play the vinyl? You got to use different needles to, like, do different things. I didn't know that. But now you know that. Now, some people may look at the more modern DJ setups and think, this is terrible. But it's not. Because TikTok. TikTok has paved the way for new and upcoming amateur DJs to really show their skills. One of the biggest skills that, that came out, and one of the biggest names that came out of the DJ scene, was D DJ Syringe. Now, this isn't him, obviously. This is just his profile picture on his TikTok page. But DJ Syringe is probably one of the best known DJs I've seen today. His TikToks blow up. He's getting mad likes. His scratching, absolutely awesome. But luckily, he doesn't limit himself. Because, you know, as a DJ, you get the cool powers, you get flotation and enlargement, but you also get to kiss black men. Now, is this essentially another benefit of being a DJ? Yes, because Shaquille O'Neal is also a DJ, baby. That's right. You ever had dreams of DJing next to Shaq O'Neal? And now, now you know why Shaq is so big himself, because of those secret DJ powers when you're at the beach. But unfortunately for Shaq, he had some like latency issues. So his enlargement powers stayed with him, even though he's not on the beach anymore. Lucky bastard. But as it turns out, DJing has been quite good for Shaq. After the basketball retirement, the endorsement deals, the commercials, he has found great joy in spinning those discs, those vinyls, scratching that like there's an itch. Just hearing this presentation myself makes me want to become a DJ. You know, I've, I've heard some great mixes in my life. But luckily, it's so silly sometimes because being a DJ means also looking very silly like this man. Now, this isn't clown makeup. This is regular makeup. This man, what is that? Oh, it's like, okay, I don't know what that is. <sighs> this is actually, no, never mind. This is actually clown makeup. <sighs> screw, the, screw the change. This man is doing his best to put on clown makeup, but he's very uh, amateur. He doesn't know how to put on clown makeup like a professional. So he's seeking out help from an actual clown person soon. I should do that. I should probably do it as a stream, right? That would be, cool that, be a pretty cool stream. I did like, get, like a professional clown person, like do clown makeup on me. I should probably do that. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, this man is as silly as a clown, but doesn't look like one. He's not at all. He's, in fact, a tremendous pe... Okay. You you uploaded that frame the second I shut trash with the old image. You were fast with that, man. I will give you that one. That was fast, frame. <laughs> you threw off my whole thing. Now, unfortunately, DJs have a very bad reputation of being bronies. Any of you who don't know this, luckily, I, I thank you for your innocence. 
DJs and bronies go together like pizza bagels and chocolate milk. A small subclass of DJs sometimes turn into uh, My Little Pony enjoyers. You see this man right here? He's a victim. He is so close to turning into them. He made the mistake of going to this convention because he thought, oh, this is pretty cool. Like-minded people who enjoy this weird thing. Let me check it out. But little does he know, there is a black man in a mouse costume waiting behind him, ready to convert him. Convert him into the sinful life of being a brony. The innocence in his eyes soon left his body as he became... That does not look like me. The hell are you talking about? That does not look like me. What? No. Fuck, okay, I just threw me off, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, that man who was at that brony convention, he has now gone full brony and totally lost the end. Because that is truly the end for that man. Thank you. Thank you. This time I didn't go anywhere. I stayed right here. Thank you. Any questions, concerns, comments about that presentation? I know that was a lot of heartbreaking information about DJs and the life and luxury of a DJ. Are any of you here now inspired to become a DJ? You have to go to the bathroom. Okay, just go to the bathroom. You don't have to tell me. Just, yeah, go right there. Any questions, concerns? I mean, you don't you don't have to ask to go, to go to the bathroom. Just go. I mean, like questions about the presentation or like in general. If you want to go, then go. I hope some of you may have been now inspired to become a DJ. Maybe, maybe, maybe even do it as a slight hobby. Whether you use modern equipment, vintage equipment, does not matter as long as you have fun. Scratching those vinyls or rewinding those MP3 files, whichever it is. You want to be Shaq? Well, hopefully that happens. You never know. You never know. Any more questions, concerns before we go into the next presentation? I think my, I think my legs are getting tired, man. Jesus Christ. All right, we will now move on to the next presentation. Welcome, everyone, to the Daldemet Green Screen presentation. We will now begin our newest presentation. I am, of course, your host and presenter, Daldemet. You can call me Dalda, D, or Hey You. I respond to all those uh, names and labels. But today, I will now be giving you a presentation on why... Ireland is the best place ever. And why you should visit Ireland. First of all, of course, there are two types of United United Ireland. There is the integrated and the devolved. I should, I should make this bigger, Jesus Christ. There we go, Christ. Now, little people know about these two, two different types of Ireland. But yeah, there's two types. Integrated and devolved. And as you can see... The integrated has very strong support for stuff. And most importantly, what they have strong support of is alcohol consumption. Now, I've gone on record in saying I don't like alcohol. I don't drink alcohol, and I never, never will drink alcohol. But Ireland is a country full of drunks. That's not me. That's just factual. That's just facts, okay? But... The mass amount of alcohol consumption rivals that of Russia and Russians and their vodka. Irish people love, what's it called? Like a guinea, a Guinness or whatever. They love them. And it makes the people happy and joyful and they start dancing and all. So that's one of the reasons you should visit Ireland. It's a happy country full of happy people because they are drunk 24-7. And a lot of the promotional equipment for Ireland visitation is this one. This is not us. 
Okay. Find out who the Irish really are at Europe's leading tourist attraction. The Irish Immigration Museum Epic. They have a strong statement to state about what it means to really be Irish. And the false images that have been given to Irish people. Most importantly, this one. Now, I remember earlier when I said that they're happy and joyful and start dancing. Irish people have some of the best dance moves I've ever seen. And this is coming from someone who has fantastic dance moves. You know, I've shown you on stream the dance moves and all that, like how good I am. But my moves don't rival that of the Irish. I think the alcohol feels their mobility and fluidity into just having the best dance moves ever. I wish I could be at this party. It looks like it looks, look a lot, looks like a lot of fun. But this is another reason why you should visit Ireland. You will learn some of the best dance moves you ever will have. Now, most of you think, oh, wait a minute. Black people have the best dance moves. We do, but not compared to the Irish. Exhibit A. Why is that image so damn small? Why you guys... Why is it so small? Why? As you see here, this is a clip from the TV show Archer. And this is a Frenchman. Now, I know all of you are disgusted at, by this very image. Some of you are throwing up right now into the seats. I'm so sorry for doing that. But yes, French people do exist. That's a sad fact indeed. But don't let that get you down. Don't let that get you down, okay? Because they're all concentrated only in France. They're only only in France. They can't escape France. They can't hurt you. And luckily, there are no French people in Ireland. So that's another reason you should visit Ireland. There's no French people over there. You'll not have to smell their terrible bodies, their terrible body odor, their horrible cheeses and wines. You will not have to be as sad as this clown. Look how sad he is. This is a clown who has visited France. This is what France does to you. This is what it turns you into. It turns you into a cheesy, early 2010s clown horror movie. Don't be like this, man. Do not go to France. Instead, visit Ireland, where they got drinks, parties, and pubs, and dancing all the time. And I don't mean to stay stuck on this one, but another reason not to visit France is because the women there are <laughs> sick with chicken pox. Now, most of you already know chicken pox is an illness that affects mostly children, but no. It infects children and French women. What's the connection between children and French women? Scientists are still trying to figure out that answer. But there's an on, there, is, there is an ongoing chicken pox infestation in France right now. French women are suffering. And due to the horrible French healthcare system, they are not getting the care and attention that they need. Now, just look at this woman. She is currently reading a news article on her phone about the failing French healthcare system and how she, she has to pay an outrageous copay to get her chicken pox medication. This is yet another reason to visit Ireland because there are no French women and there is no chicken pox in Ireland. All the alcohol has killed off every single germ in Ireland, so the entire populace is healthy as hell. People in Ireland live to be 97 years old on average. That's right. Fantastic standard of living. An older populace, but still, they're still living. They're still kicking. And when you live and kick, you can still dance, baby. In my, in, my, in my honor, I'll still say black people dance better. And then second is Irish. But luckily, some words of encouragement. Today could literally be the luckiest day of your life. You'll never know until you start gambling. Ireland has no gambling. In fact, it's illegal in Ireland to gamble. So why is this message being set out? Who made such a horrific post about the ironic love of gambling? 
Only a sick, twisted French person can make an image like this. That's right. F gambling is legal in France. And France sucks as a country. You see the connection now? You see how it all comes together? No gambling equals a good country. Gambling equals a bad country. And that is why no one visits France. And this is why people should visit Ireland. No gambling. You don't got to worry about losing your money, draining your savings account, trying to hit that lucky roulette spin on the blackjack. You don't have to worry about that. You can spend your money on lovely tourist attractions, going to the beach, buying alcohol. Most importantly, everything I say is a joke. It's just satire. Unless you agree with me, then it's real. But gambling or gambling. <laughs> I'm trying to do like a tiny voice. Most importantly, gambling is very bad. It's very bad for you. I used to gamble. In my sleepovers, we'd play, uh, um, what's it called? We'd play uh, blackjack and uh, bet potato chips. I would lose all my potato chips. I would ask for a loan of more potato chips and lose them all, okay? I had a horrible gambling addiction losing all my potato chips. And this is why I hoard all of my chips now. Both the potato and the poker kind. You should never gamble. And you should never go, go to France. This is a serious message, by the way, about the, like, I'm joking about the island, but I'm being serious about don't visit France ever. That is, that is an unironic, real life lesson I'm telling you right now. Do not visit. Because French, because France has penis elements. I bit my tongue there a little bit. I'm sorry. France is currently infested with STDs, known as Tato. Stand, standing, of course, for testicular aeronautical cross-dressing. <laughs> Here's a live picture of what France looks like right now. Who would want to visit a place like this? I wouldn't. Who in their right mind wants to visit an active war zone? Exactly, correct. Nobody. Thank you, audience member, for participating. Nobody wants to. France has STDs. It has gambling issues. France is currently a war zone right now. Why would anyone want to visit the country of France? This lecture and presentation is as much about why you should visit Ireland and why you should never visit France. I'm like, I'm like trying to really hammer in that point right now. I'm not being ironic. I'm being dead serious. Never visit France ever. French people are also very racist. And their policemen, the French policemen, are also racist. Look at that. Policemen wearing all black. That's essentially doing black blackface. Also known as doing backface. Wait, what was the previous image I've already forgot? What was the previous image I was just looking at? Hey, regardless, the only thing, the only good thing to come out of France was French fries. Cheap, affordable fried potatoes that tasted amazing. The only good thing that France ever made was that. And now, it has been co-opted into newer countries by calling them Freedom Fries, only 50 cents. And of course, Americans love French fries. You can obviously tell they love French fries. But that's just one sign of how you take a horrible invention that was made by France and make it better. This presentation is supposed to be about Ireland, but I just can't stop talking about how much I hate France. I don't know why. <laughs> Another reason you should visit Ireland is because they have great French fries. There we go. 
that's that's the tie-in right there, baby. Did you know? For, okay, you submit small images that I can't read, and then you'd quickly change it on me. Okay, so you know what? People who keep changing my slides, I don't agree with their opinion. You know what? It's about time I say it to all of you in the audience as well. I don't agree with their opinion. I gotta be honest with you. Some of you say, oh, no, no, no. France is a great place. It's a great place. Really? Look at the average French woman. You look at that and you tell me you want to visit France. You tell me with a straight face. There's no more to say. The end. Thank you. No, I do not like that. <laughs> Audience member who said that, no, I do not like that at all. Thank you all for listening to my presentation about why you should visit the country of Ireland and also subsequently why you should never visit France. Any questions, concerns, comments, platitudes? You want to hear my uh, biscuits recipe? Did you see the disgust in his eye? There is. I have major disgust. You pissed a moment ago? Thank you for telling me. Thank you for the applause also. Thank you for the, all the claps. Thank you. Any other uh, questions about the, the information here? Anything that wasn't uh, understandable? I can help explain to you better. There may be some points where I was going a bit too fast, so I can reiterate points if needed. Okay, that's not. We will now move on to another presentation. The French war zone picture was scary. Yeah, I did. I mean, it sucks to be in France right now because there's like there's an active war going on. No, I got it. Ireland good, France a bad. Exactly. That's the gist to take away from this lesson. I, I should do that at the end, like give a just a grand gist of the entire presentation. Ireland good, France bad. There you go, baby. Actually, uh, there, I have another drink in the freezer. I want to go get it. My legs are tired and I am thirsty. I don't like how my legs are visible. I just don't like that. Uh, maybe it's cold. Yeah, it's another PB though, but f dude, World Record was already there. It was hot and ready and just good for a pounding, but then I just choked. It was as if like a, a supermodel opened her legs for me and said, okay, Dalda, have sex with me. And like, I, I couldn't get hard. I was all floppy and just couldn't, wasn't prepared for the job. Yeah. I'm fucking stupid, I hope I die. Nah, that's alright, man. Yep, I'm live on YouTube.com. Oh, you can't even hear me because the mic is over here. Okay, yeah, my drink is frozen, so I gotta wait a while to open that. Why wait time for a new presentation? I gotta, I gotta memorize these damn things. All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Daldemit green screen presentation. I'm your host and presenter, Daldemit, and I'm now presenting you with the presentation on why you should follow this dynamic. I'm going to tell you why you need to be a silly billy and not an alpha. There are 15 signs that you're a silly billy and why that's better than being a so-called alpha, a false platitude and label created by society and insecure men. No, no, no. A silly billy is what you should be. Now, you see the two differences right here between them just in the visual form. An alpha, 
too serious, too self-absorbent, too, too much me. The silly Billy, just look at him, being goofy, taking in the moment to enthrall himself, make whatever fun, and make whatever fun he can, have whatever joy he can in the moment. I recommend to all of you, be a silly Billy and not an alpha. Now, one of the signs that you are a silly Billy is that you kiss black men. And I notice here that this indentation mark in this car looks a lot like this image right here. That is one of the first signs of being a silly Billy is kissing black men. Now you may think, oh, that's already a good first sign. That's pretty easy. I can easily be a silly Billy just by doing that. Yes, you can. And if by some miracle, you get the second sign of being a silly Billy is being a Twitch streamer. Now, you may be looking at me, wait a minute. Dalda, you're, you're, you're a streamer on Twitch. Does that make you a silly Billy? No. Because I do not kiss black men. I kiss black women. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm already one out of, I'm missing one of the requirements for being a silly Billy, unfortunately. But once I ever do make the move to being that, I will be that one step closer. Now, an alpha, on the other hand, only kisses women. So make that what you will. Now, another sign of being a silly Billy is when you want that hate and dis when you want to hate and disagree, but they're spinning facts, so you just end up agreeing with them. A silly Billy does accept his silly nature and realize that other people may be speaking more truthful statements. Another reason or sign that you may be a silly Billy is that you are Blair. Bet, Betty Betty White, yeah, Betty White. Betty White was probably the biggest silly Billy to ever exist. If you've seen the show Golden Girls, nothing but silly moments back to back to back. Betty White was one of them. Now, if you want some inspiration on how to be one, you can watch Betty White highlights of the Golden Girls. She'll give you the down to down blueprint on how to be one. She, she essentially laid the groundwork for what it meant to be one. Now, some of you may be thinking, wait, wasn't Betty White, I almost forgot her name again. Wasn't Betty White more of an alpha? No, that was just a veil. That was a disguise she put on to command respect from people, to make, to make herself seem herself more relatable. No, she was a silly Billy. The... F Fifth, number five. The fifth sign that you are one is that you have once in your life visited this woman. This woman is Mary Jane. Mary Jane was Betty White's teacher. She taught her all the silly Billy methods, the methodologies, the paradigms, the paradoxes. She taught her all that stuff. She, oh, that's a young one? Okay, well, whatever. Dude, let me roll. I'm rolling right now. Fuck. Mary Jane taught Betty White everything she needs to know. She was the silly teacher. Now, unfortunately, all of her works that she wrote in books about how to be one were lost to time due to translation errors. Mary Jane was Portuguese, and no good Portuguese to English translators were around at the time. Now, another sign that you may be a silly Billy is that you have maintained this physique. This physique isn't achievable without catnip. Does that mean you must consist of an entire entirely of catnip? Maybe. Only the true hardened silly Billies eat catnip. Now, of course, consuming too much catnip turns you into this thing. But it could be worth it. Another sign that you are a silly Billy is that you smoke cigarettes. 
because the silliest thing that you can do is smoke. That soon-to-be growing lung cancer is by far the silliest thing you can do. Also, smoking it between the forefinger and the middle finger, like... Like that, that's especially the way to do it. Don't smoke a cigarette with that, like that long stick that women used to use, like back in the 40s. Don't use that. Use your own two God given sticks called your fingers. True silly billies smoke cigarettes. Alphas care about their health and eat and diet and exercise and all that other nerd stuff. No, 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 no. We smoke cigarettes here. Betty White smoked a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> yes, yes, she did. Betty White was a smoker. Smoked two packs a day. Non-filtered menthols. Because that's, that's how hard she rolled. She wanted everyone to truly know how much of a silly billy that she was. You guys can change the image whenever you want, by the way. She... Really rode down and dirty with the with the nicotine. Every other take of shooting of the Golden Girls, Betty White was smoking it up. Now, you may be a bit scared. Like, what, what about the lung cancer? I don't want to smoke cigarettes. If that means I have to be a silly billy by smoking cigarettes, I don't want to do that. doesn't matter. Because the seventh sign of being a silly billy is also performing high kicks. Now, the higher your kick, the higher probability that you are a silly billy. Okay, I was, about to, I was about to do a high kick, but then I realized my feet would be on stream and I'm not doing that. But I, I can probably kick like up to like here-ish. You can't see my hand. Another sign, that, the eighth sign that you are a silly billy is that you have a Twitter account. And only that, you post fake tweets on your Twitter account. Fake tweets that say, I'm so freaky, RN, the feeling of sucking toes is unmatched, fur fur ong, resisting the urge to suck toes is so hard, I'm beginning to go crazy, fur fur ong, trust I'm losing it. If your tweets are at least 1% as fake as that one, you're on your way to becoming a certified silly billy. So, open up that Twitter account, get to posting some hot garbage, some fake hot garbage, and you're well on your way. And while you're tweeting, perform those high kicks. Another good reason, or the ninth, the ninth sign that you are a silly billy, is that you wear cowgirl outfits. Pink cowboy hats, skirts, and white shoes. This is the pose of the silly billy. That is the, that's like the the stance, the, like the greeting of like knowing, oh yeah, this is a certified silly person right here. I lost my arms in a horrific automobile accident. Thank you for pointing that out, jerk, by the way. And now the 10th sign that you are a certified silly billy is that you post very small selfies. Look how small the selfies that I posted. Now you may be wondering, why Dalda do you post small selfies? It's pretty obvious. Great things come in small packages. You don't need high quality, 60 frames, 24 megahertz images to show off your true self, no. You need only the necessary amount of pixels. And for me, it's 80 pixels. 80 pixels tells the whole story of Daldemet. You know, of course, because, you know, I am quite a certified silly billy myself. I only need 80 pixels to show everything. And it is, it is quite true that I do post small selfies because my wiener is huge. Thank you, audience member who said that, by the way. And yes, I do still use an iPhone too. I will admit that. Because my hatred of Apple to this very day prevents me from buying newer iPhones. 
I will never upgrade past my iPhone 2. And it takes quality pictures nonetheless. And for instance, here is a picture of my iPhone 2. Look at the classy design, the simplistic layout, the bold striking colors. A far fetch from, from what Apple is doing nowadays. Mm -hmm. See, that's why I stay loyal to quality, not brands. Be loyal to quality, not brands. The iPhone 2 was the peak of Apple's creativity and ingenuity. True silly billies recognize quality. Brands come and go, companies stay afloat and die, but quality is always there. And now the 11th reason or sign that you are silly billy is that you cry. You cry your eyes out. You cry so hard, you start crying sideways and start dribbling snot out of your nose. That's because silly billies are not afraid to show emotion. Mm -mm. Emotions are probably the most human thing that we have. The whole range of emotions, like happy and sad and all those other emotions. True silly billies aren't afraid to show emotions. And they're not afraid to cry sometimes in the shower and let the sound of the water hitting the drain cover the sounds of their tears hitting the floor. That's quite okay. It's quite okay. Now, the twelfth reason why you are or the twelfth sign that you are silly Billy is that you live in Texas. Texas has the greatest concentration of silly Billies known on the western seaboard. Most of them are concentrated in the what's that place called? Ryansville, Brownsville, down here. They have the greatest concentration there. If you live in Brownsville, Texas, you are a silly billy. The 13th sign that you are a silly billy is that you watch and consume One Punch Man content. One Punch Man being a uh, anime, of course, and uh, manga. The 14th slash penultimate reason or sign you are a silly billy is that you love 80 pixel images. Again, as I said earlier, 80 pixels is the maximum number of pixels you need to show off your true self. You don't need high resolution, high def pictures and videos at 60 frames a second, 4K resolution. No, 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 that's too much. Only alpha little whiny men need so many pixels to show off every single bit of their insecurity. No. Only use 80 pixels. That's all you need. He who can tell his story with the least amount of words has the best story. And the 15th and final reason sign that you are a silly Billy is that life, when you stop worrying and just kill people you don't like. Silly Billies are great at assassinating people who don't deserve to live. They get rid of the competition. And that's how you should live. And those are all the signs that you are a silly billy. Don't be an alpha. It's outdated, overrun, constipated mentality that has infected the mind of many people. Don't be an alpha. Be a silly billy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that one, everyone. Any questions, concerns, or comments? Do you want to know my shoe size? Do you want to know my chili recipe? Any platitudes you want to give out? I've been walking with my hands behind my back for a while now, like an old Asian man. I kind of like it. Can I cook burgers? Yes, I can. Yes. You have to pee again? Okay, then just go. You should probably go to a doctor, get your prostate checked, but yeah, go. You should make so a cue. I, I thought about making a cue. That's probably the newest. That'll be the next upgrade I make is having a cue system for the images. But I kind of like it better when it's like constantly changing it. 
makes it more dynamic. <laughs> yeah, seriously, dude, get your prostate check if you're peeing like this frequently. <sighs> There's no begin command. I begin when I'm good and ready. Since apparently the audience is ready, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Daldemet green screen presentation. I'm your host and presenter today, Daldemet. And I will, well, there's no images loaded up, so I gotta wait. And thank you for listening to the Daldemet green screen presentation. Any questions, concerns, comments you want to make? I know it was a bit, a sh bit of a short one, but any questions you may have, I can answer it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the applause, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. You keep me alive? Sure thing, man. You can't see my thumbs up. Here it is. Sure thing, man. There wasn't even a new image loaded in, so there's no point in doing a new presentation. Nothing was loaded in. There's no new image. I'll do it. Oh, dude, my, my full body is like, ex you actually almost see my full body in camera view. Jesus Christ. My feet are like right there, like below the bottom of the camera. This camera shows way too much. I don't like this. I got I to like zoom in next time. That shows way too much of my body. Yeah, that was too close with the feet. I'm not sure. I'm still not showing it. We need Daldemet review of Borderlands movies. I've never even played the Borderlands games. I can't review those. I'm still waiting for my milkshake to melt. You can just like you can just straight up see my entire body in this camera. Yeah, it was in the freezer. I stupidly put it in the freezer. Yeah, it's it's still way too frozen, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a good one. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Daldemet Green Screen Presentation. I'm your host and presenter, Daldemet, and I'll now present to you a presentation on why this man is the greatest presenter of all time. Now, you may notice an obvious thing. Isn't this just you, Daldemet? Yes, yes it is. This is me, literally, 10 minutes ago. When I was presenting the the final reason why or sign that you are a silly billy. Look at the poise that this man has presenting. The command of the the area. The pointed and directed conversation. An amazing man. He's so he's so amazing that this cat survived Schrodinger's experiment. Busted out of that box with no poison. Well, actually with the poison. And he made his way out. He is now hunting down Schrodinger and plotting to assassinate him. Please contact his offices to know that there's a bounty on his head. But this is also another reason why Daldmet is the greatest presenter of all time. Daldmet does not kill cats, even hypothetical ones. He keeps them alive. He's a giant cat lover. So, Daldemet would never poison cats. That's true. Yeah. Even though, it's, honestly, I'm more of a dog person either way. Actually, I'm more of like a raccoon person. I want to have a pet raccoon one day. Like a baby raccoon. 
Another reason I'm such a great presenter is that I own Hello Kitty slides and I have a Hello Kitty case on my phone, on both my phones, because I have two phones. P men who own Hello Kitty sl slides and phone cases are some of the best men to ever grace the internet. Uh, and some of you may be thinking, well, isn't that a bit feminine of you, Dalda, to own Hello Kitty slides and phone cases? No. Because I am a certified silly billy. So it only makes sense. It's part of my identity almost. Inseparable, incomparable, insurrectionable. And another reason why I'm a great presenter is that I love raccoons. Great, fascinating creatures, the raccoon. There's really no other reason why. I just I just love him. I don't know why. Ever since a young age, ever since I was a youngin, great, great trash panda. I've actually looked at try, trying to get like a pet raccoon, but there's like no sanctuary or like pet hospital or place that gives them. So I, I gotta like find one in nature and like domesticate it. I was thinking about like getting a bag of Doritos because I watched that movie Over the Hedge. I was gonna lay out like a path of Doritos from a bunch of raccoons and lead them to my and lead them to my house. <laughs> it's probably the best way I can do it. And now, unfortunately, I have made a great mistake and a great error. I have caused a lot of damage, people. Look at this. This is what I did. This is the damage that I've caused. This is the havoc I have wrecked. Wreaked? Re damage you have wrecked. Wreaked? This is the damage that I have caused. I have destroyed a home of the opossum. I have destroyed so many opossum homes that there is now a herd of them homeless looking for a place to live in the greater North American region. Now you may be wondering, Dalda, why are you destroying the homes of so many possums? Do you hate opossums? Yes, yes I do. Opossums are the bastard incest child of the raccoon. They want to be raccoons so bad that they even stole their look a little bit. They are straight up biters. Opossums are straight window shoppers compared to the glory that is the raccoon. So that's why they deserve no homes. They deserve to be homeless. Now, some of you may think that's a bit harsh on my side, but that's how I feel. Okay? You come to these presentations for the controversial opinions. You come here for the mind-altering, mind-shattering views that change the, the way you look at the world. That's what I do for you. I open your mind. I open up your mind's eye. It would have been so cool if it's like, as soon as I did that, an eyeball showed up on my forehead. It is now revealed that Daldemit is now a triclops. But luckily, this is a raccoon. You can tell it's a raccoon because it's misspelled. There's two C's in raccoon, you damn idiot. Rac opossums are so dedicated to want to be raccoons they can't even spell the name correctly that's how desperately they want to be raccoons and they'll never be they will be hapless shameless biters and window shoppers forever oh, whoopsie <laughs> it's okay comrade i know you're still in school so you don't know how to spell words yet it's okay I just hate opossums so much. I just can't really like, I just can't nail that in any harder. <laughs> just, okay, don't make spelling errors before next time and then you won't. Uh, face up or it didn't load in. There's, there's nothing on there, it didn't load. It didn't load the thing on there. 
Now, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, this presentation does have some quirks to it, some kinks to work out. But this isn't one of them. You not being English doesn't mean you can't use autocorrect, dummy. What was even the topic of this one? I forgot. Either way, this is a flamethrower that I invented a while back ago. I gave it to one of my old neighbors. And he uses that flamethrower. Yes, on PC, dummy. You can Google the name Raccoon and then have it spelled out for you perfectly. Anyway, enough yelling at people who can't spell. This flamethrower was one of the best ones I ever made. I gave it to one of my neighbors to test it out. And I took this lovely photo with, of, um, of it with him. Now, he is absolutely bewildered, surprised by that one. And now, luckily, there is also some great art being made in the world. Awesome female opossum girl on Reddit. Now, of course, as I said already, I already hate opossums. So I put this in here. I put this image in my presentation to show you even more reasons why I hate opossums. Now, this image may drive some of you, some of you to kill yourselves. Don't do that. Suicide is never the option. But it does fill me with great dread, despair, and misery that this image does exist. And some of you may, again, want to kill yourselves. And some of you may look at this image and want to start unzipping your pants. Again, that's not needed. Opossums are a great scourge in this world. Shameless copiers, copiers of the raccoon style. But they'll never succeed. Anyone want to change the goddamn image, please, now? Thank you. I'm tired of looking at this thing. You can change it anytime now, man. Christ. Okay, luckily, old women are attacking younger women with buckets of water. It's a crying shame that it's happening. But what's even worse is that they're doing that to women who are very vulnerable. She's wearing a bikini. Totally not in the proper suit or attire to defend herself. Why do old women hate younger women? Is it the immediate age difference? Yes. Look at her shirt. Hi, I don't care, thanks. Old people are so nihilistic so dead inside that they must now spread their misery onto the younger female populace. I think I bit my my tongue. Ow. My tongue hurts. Um, and look at the shock and surprise on her face. She's still kind of surprised that she did this, but that to her core, she's glad she did it. To spread her misery Ooh on someone else. Now, back to the flamethrower that I made. This is another picture I took of one of my other neighbors using my flamethrower. Took this lovely 80 pixel image with it. He had a great time using my flamethrower. He burned down a local forest with that flamethrower. But of course he did it because there was a raging wildfire at the time and he set a counter fire to extinguish both fires. And now luckily, that old lady got, got her comeuppance because he used that flamethrower on her shoe. Sweet, sweet comic revenge. And now this woman will never splash water on younger women in bikinis ever again. She may, she may seem nihilistic, but that's the face of someone who believes she's in pain. So she clearly believes in something. And now earlier today, I got a call from a freaky freak. That's my pet name for him. I call him Freaky Freak. And that's a picture I drew of him also. Freaky Freak and I discussed some uh, interesting business. We discussed how we could take over the tissue brand of America, become the tissue monopolies, even bigger than Kleenex. Now, in this... In discussions, we came across some certain um, roadblocks. How to monopolize the fabric industry, the cotton industry. But before that, 
this old woman. I gave her one of my other flamethrowers. I'm a huge enjoyer of making flamethrowers, and I give them to old people and watch them use it. She's currently making a pie, or she's, you know, heating up a pie with the flamethrower, and she's enjoying herself. Look at that face. That is a woman who's enjoying herself like she was using that flamethrower like when she was a kid. I work to bring the smile on faces of old people. And apparently flamethrowers are the best way to do it. You don't have to call me a hero, okay? You don't have to call me a savior. You don't even have to call me the sexiest man in the world. Don't do that. I do it because it's the right thing to do. I also give flamethrowers to little kids. Kids enjoy the flamethrowers even more because in the new the new uh, sensation and vision of giant flames just come out of nowhere. Kids love love them entirely. This kid is currently is using one on the patio just outside his house on the backyard. Luckily, he set nothing on fire, of course, because even though I give kids flamethrowers, I teach them safety. Like, you know, f- trigger discipline with a gun. What's even better is that f- those flames were applied to basketballs. Flame basketball. The newest sports sensation to take over the country. Okay? Move over, NBA. We got flame basketball now this game unfortunately will be played exclusively by old women no more will this game be played by six foot eight black men no five foot one old white women will play flame ball that's the name i just came up with it by the way now this sport may not generate the same kind of attention as the nba but the cult-like interest in this game would be very good we can expect a lot of highlights, clips, t-shirt sales to skyrocket at the invention of Flame Ball, which is just the name I just came up with. It, by the way, by the way, I came up with that name. Flame Ball is only the stepping stone. We expect Flame to be incorporated in many other sports as well. Soccer. Maybe flame soccer, flame bowling, flame polo. Imagine riding a horse that's on fire and hitting your hammer on the ball while your horse is on fire. That is the newest sports craze, ladies and gentlemen. I'm asking for $50,000 for 30% equity in my company. That's right. This is Shark Tank, baby. This is, this is turned from a presentation to Shark Tank. What else can we have? We can have flame. Um, I can't think of what, what other sports. Flame. Uh, hockey. Now, the immediate contradictory is that it's played on ice, but you need fire. We're still working out the kinks on that plan. But luckily, marriage. I am once again encouraging you to meet your mutuals because they get married. That's right. Now, unfortunately, I am a pedo says, please contact me if you are an old woman. Why call yourself a pedo if you're interested in older women, especially rich older women? The paradoxes of humanity know no bounds. But I'm sorry, I had a fart. But rich, rich old women are quite nice. Oh my God, I'm losing it. I think my feet are getting tired, so I can't concentrate on, like, making up stuff. My feet are just getting tired, man. Thank Christ. And that's the end. Thank you. Okay, I got to sit down. Christ. What's up, Saf? Oh. Okay, there it is.
This is me. This is look weird. The day's events. Uh... Oh, dude! Actually, I just reminded myself. While I was at the store. There's these a uh, group of kids. They're like buying something from like a concession, a concession stand. And they must have been. They must have been from some kind of like youth club or something, because there's all these like black kids but they were like when they were speaking to the employees they were like oh hi sir thank you sir or whatever so i thought they were like oh maybe some part of like some youth group or whatever but after a little while one of the kids said i need a max win you know that you know that drake meme from like that stream he did one of the kids said that one and i just realized wait a minute i haven't heard that meme in forever and then what's even better is that one one of the kids started talking about streams. They're talking about like Twitch streams. I forget the name of the person that they said, but yeah, clearly the internet has like already hit their brains hard. So that was pretty fun. Uh, what else? I probably I, I I wrote down some stuff to talk about, but my computer is way over there. And I'm over here, so uh, I'll just make I'll just make up some stuff. Uh, today, while I was walking, I got attacked by a giant deer. It was like 14 feet tall, had four antlers. So I was running for my life right down the street, but then suddenly a taxi came around and hit the deer, made it collapse around the road. Now, luckily, a family of cockroaches took the giant deer away to eat on it to feast it was like a king's feast for them because it was so big and those cockroaches are even smaller yes yeah, so that was my day why does the camera keep like glitching? i keep like fading in and out down here what's going on how was your day chat you can't st stop counting on me to like remember stuff. How was your day? What's going on with the, all you people? Okay, I can't. I can't even see Chad. Let me. Uh, was I bald there for a second? I couldn't. Couldn't even tell. You fell asleep and woke up. Nice. Ugh. I mean, it doesn't help that I was moving around all day on my feet, so... It doesn't help to still be on my feet for a stream. I've been standing for, like, at least half the day. I don't know what a Barker stream is, dude. You have this weird condition, Rem, of never defining your damn terms when I ask you. So whenever I see something I, that I don't know that you typed, I'm just going to ignore it. So, so Barker stream win? I'm never doing that. How about that? Uh, my milkshake is still frozen. Damn it. And now there's a, there's a wet ring on my desk. I thought you were grammatically inclined. I probably not enough to know what a Barker stream is. And this is talking about like tree bark. Like you want me to like skin a tree, clean up its bark. I'm not doing that. I love trees. Oh. This is a weird this is a weird camera angle when I'm sitting down. The camera is so high up. Out of the hood stream win. I'm already out of the hood. I've never been in the hood. Me.
I was, dude I, dude, I did a joke, but I was muted because I'm using the headset mic. I said, oh no, I have no lives due to the other joke. So now. But that, that joke is ruined now because I was muted. <sighs> what time is it? I go wait. Let me. Am I allowed to critique the green stream event? I mean, sure, if you want to. This, this is what face ever just sent. sent. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's, that's nice. nice. I gotta save that. that. That's, that's a. a... I gotta save, save that, that gift. That's, that's a good one. Actually, Actually, no, you, you know what? what? Chat, you're, you're not allowed, allowed to critique anything I do. Okay, I'm infallible. Everything, everything I do is perfect. You can't critique anything I do. I've changed my mind. I give those performance a 10 out of 10. Thank you. I mean, it, is, it has been a while since I've done the green stream, the green screen uh, presentation, so... Also, all my stuff... All the tech moved around, so I gotta like, fix all that too. I give the computer's performance up as a 4 out of 10. That's not that bad. I give chat's performance a 6.5 out of 10. Not even better. This started with blue balls galore. Tech issues, man. You realize that dates are never set in stone. Okay, they are subject to the the frailty and spontaneity of the human experience. I'm not sure if my mic sounds good or not this entire time. It probably sounds like crap, but eh, it'll, make, it'll make it funnier on the video. Yeah, of course, after the tech issues, then the stream was good because it was the actual stream. That was pretty good. Yeah, maybe a Q system would be better. I, I like the idea of just like the constantly changing images because it makes it more, you know, me, like more on my toes. Keeps me on my toes. I don't know, how would I implement a Q system? That'll, probably, that'll take a while to like figure out. But at least before I do a new green screen thing, I'll probably use a Q system, most likely. So let me go back to that cam. Back to the personal experience. Any command is great when it's done right. I mean, it just depends on when someone uses it. Luckily, like twice this stream, it was used to like great effect. At least two times, it was pretty funny when they used that command. I was trying to, I was going to do a thing where like. If you type the command, there's a 1 in 50 chance of it going through. So that, so that like, no one's, like, you know, just spamming the end command thing. But luckily, everyone used it to, uh, with great respect. My Google searches are all fucked now. I should have used Bing. Yeah. Always use your throwaway searches on Bing or uh, Yahoo. It's kind of a given, but chat banter during the pick suffers a bit. Oh well, yeah, because like the the focus is the presentation. It's like I'm speaking to an audience. It doesn't make sense to like do a presentation and then like talk to just like one person for like twenty seconds. So like the format of that stream has to diminish chat banter, it's just a necessity. I'm getting ads for flamethrowers and depends diapers. Targeted ads because that's what you need. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The chat questions afterwards just yeah help with at least bringing in some banter in there. That's just what you like, Face Temper. You love diapers and flamethrowers. I still can't drink my damn shake. Ugh. 
but it was nice. I, I love the green screen presentations. Great concept I came up with, and I'm glad to do it again. It's just fun. You think Joe Biden was getting ice cream when he learned he was backing out of the race? Is that apparently a thing? That's apparently a thing now that he's at, he's backed out of the race. Uh, sure. I guess so. He's probably getting ice cream. But yeah, I, I like this. The green, green screen presentations. I think one of my best ideas. It's one of my good ideas. No, it, it's one of my best ideas. I'll, I'll give myself credit. This is one of my best ideas. Yeah, definitely his handlers. Um, I'll do my best to try to implement some kind of queue system. I don't know how, how that's going to work. See if it's going to take a while. But luckily I got a bunch of other stuff I could do before the next one. It was almost as good as the Cuckold Simulator playthrough. Oh yeah. That was a good stream. And good game. What's in those sweet cabinets? My stuff. Stuff of a particular nature. Don't worry about it, face stuffer. <clears throat> yeah, I just I just got them because I need to like place all my stuff somewhere. And I have a small room. I do I do also miss a white background. I love I love like, you know, three years ago or four years ago when I was doing the beginning of Mario Party. One of my older rooms rooms. It was an all-white background. I loved it. It looked like I was streaming in the hyperbolic time chamber. There's also like a slight echo in the room too, so like it gave credibility to that idea. That was nice. Yeah, the, yeah, the contrast between like my black suits and my black skin with the white background. It was nice. I miss the housekeeper scaring. Yeah, that was nice. Well, yeah, if, if I go through, I can still spray paint those cabinet doors white. So it'll be like a little bit better. I, I may actually do that. I'm going to pop out those doors, these drawers. Just spray them, get, get some spray cans. Just white it out. Just I'm, I'm going to gentrify these cabinet doors. Spray them all white. Part of you using a comp side degree for something useful. I don't have a comp side degree. I just have comp sci knowledge. But thank you. I do have a psychology degree, yeah. That's why I'm so good at like manipulating all of you into like doing what I want. That came from my psychology studies in, in college. Do, I'm I'm pretty sure none of you know this, but can you can you just like spray paint something and the paint stays there? Like if I take these cabinet doors Spray paint them white. If I gentrify them, will like it stay there? Okay, good, because I, I may do that. Get an oil-based paint? Okay. Because I know like for like for certain types of painting, you put on a primer, and then you put on the paint. But I just want, I just want these things white so I can at least somewhat have the white background again. Because I miss it too. Because it may look like either the hyperbolic time chamber or I was like in a padded cell. Mask up. Oh, yeah. like Yeah, yeah put on a mask, of course. Yeah. Each one was like... Uh, let me see. Two nineteen. Each one was 219. I mean, they're heavy now because there's stuff in them, yeah. Do a teaching stream? Wasn't it, Isn't that what these presentations are? I'm teaching you about a thing. Can you climb inside of one? Yeah. I can fit inside those cabinets, yeah, but it, they're, they're all full of stuff now. No, I can't climb in. Every single one is full of stuff, so I can't... There's no space. I'm not proving it because I'm not showing you what's in those cabinets. 
it would ruin my image, my reputation. What would I, what would I even teach, comrade? Because these presentations kind of serve as like a teaching thing already. I'm teaching you about like, you know, why you should visit Ireland, why you should uh, be a silly billy. I'm teaching you so much. What's up, comrade? No, there's not adult toys in there. Oh yeah, I can teach you how to spell raccoon. Yeah, because you need, you need help with that. You need help using autocorrect, which is on Google for free. Uh, a teaching stream? Eh, I'll consider it. <sighs> yeah, 219 for those cabinets. You know, whiteboard? I mean, you mean like for the teaching thing? Sure. But just, just like in general, a whiteboard? Sure. Yeah, that is a slur, Rem. You are correct. That is a racial slur. Put up a classroom background and we ask questions. I mean, I guess, sure. I just, I'm, I'm, not sure, I'm not even sure if I'm going to go along with the teaching stream idea. It's just like... This, that seems like a regular stream like when I did speedrunning. Like I played a game and the chat would just ask me a bunch of stupid questions. And I would just answer it. It's basically that. Just don't say the F-slur, the bots auto-ban. Well, yeah, of course. You shouldn't be saying it just in general. Put a bunch of nonsense qu equations on it. <laughs> I used to do that actually. Back when I was a youngin, and I was like in love with science and physics. I actually had a whiteboard in the living room, and I would put, I would put physics equations on that thing. I actually did that unironically. Boo throws tomatoes. I don't throw tomatoes. I mean, this, this is a clean suit, man. I just got this dry cleaned. Come on. I'm a '90s kid. We drop F stores all the time. Yeah, I know. But this is not the 90s anymore, okay? This is 2025 Twitch chat, okay? You can't do that. F word and the R word never felt good on the tongue for me. I mean, that's good. You were just never used to it. You weren't born in that environment where they did that. So it makes sense. No, stop with the tomatoes. No tomatoes. Stop. Okay. Freshly clean suit. No tomatoes. Uh, okay, now I'm just like, yeah, just bantering now. What time is it? It's still kind of early. Um, any future plans? Oh, yeah, I do want to bring back... Um, I'm not doing a run. My N64 is not even plugged in. I have no consoles plugged in at all. Because uh, I only plug in a console when I use it on that day. Then I unplug it, put it back into the thing. Oh yeah, Elden Ring. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, I'm just thinking like uh, future things. I do want to bring back the uh, the the news character newscaster characters like Ghost Newton John and Penelope Sugarbottom. I want to bring them back one more time at least. Uh, and some variety games. I'm I'm just so in love with Elden Ring. I don't want to play any other game besides Elden Ring. Have you saved enough funds for the next Dexter Dexterto tweet? No, I haven't. Because I've never paid for a Dexterto tweet. If I could afford that, there like there'd be no point in me streaming. I just constantly pay out uh, ads on that. How much are those? I wouldn't know since I never paid for a Dexterto tweet. That was a genuine fear of mine because they tweeted me out like three times. And because everyone on the internet is so cynical and pessimistic, they think, okay, this guy's definitely paying for it. There's no way this guy's like actually entertaining or probably has like, you know, quality content. No, he must be paying Dexterto for these tweets. 
People kept trying to sell me tweets when I was trying to get some clips to go viral. Well, that's nice. I think for you. That's nice for you. Yeah, some of those clips did take me to stardom. I'm now a superstar. Hopefully more of them will happen. Yeah, but none of you actually make tweet not tweets. None of you actually make clips. Either I either I do nothing clippable or I'm just not entertaining enough for clips. Don't make him here and there. I guess I just haven't seen him. I'm not used to kick where I can just type exclamation point clip. I'm pretty sure you can do that here. As an answer a few minutes ago, this clip has been deprecated. Please recreate it over at the new website. What? I got a U-block origin warning. This site can't be reached. Okay, so it's just gone now. The command is gone, damn it. Face server, do you have a website that we can do that? We can just type exclamation point clip and then make a clip. Rem, go take a shower then. What do you? <laughs> what are you telling me? Like, go take a shower. I have mid swamp. Then you should probably shower. Twitch mod a few weeks ago, so it's different than YouTube and Kick. Okay, if you find anything face over, then just let me know. Because it would be a great help if you can just like type a command and it would just, just make a clip. I watch your streams when I, when I shower. Okay. Nice. Let's do some other ring for a little bit. I just beat that beast creature thing. Oh yeah, now the royal capital is all screwed up. Behold, the earth tree yet stands. Tall and unwavering, mindless of the scorch of the flame of ruin. Haha. -ha. Then we are yet golden ones. Cool. So I'm guessing this ash is of the tree that's burning down? That's just like what I'm assuming. Item ahead. Do I have a... Oh, it's over here. Do I have dropped a rune somewhere? Eh. Flower, okay. I mean, that looks like the place where I fought um, Rodan. Rodan. Let 
Moog is an easy boss. I don't think I fought him yet. I mean, I barely remember the names. Will you speed on anything, or are you moving away from that? I think only for Mario Party. But I am moving away just like to not only be known as a speedrunner. Because that's kind of like limiting to my skills and what I can do. I can clearly do more than speedrunning. So if I do, it would probably only be for Mario Party. Why is the cam like so... I have thought about speedrunning Game Boy games just because they're a lot simpler. And the Game Boy is my favorite handheld. But yeah, that's probably it. Much less speedruns. That was my... Oh, yeah, dude, I gotta rewatch my fight with that last boss. <laughs> with that last boss, because that victory felt so robbed. It felt so inauthentic, and I didn't use my goddamn foul foot to get more runes. I'm still upset. I'm still upset because of that. I can use my horse. I mean, I thought I thought I knew so, but I was using poison as like a. Bonus. Up ahead. Did more damage than the anus darts. Apparently so. Still kind of upset about that. Yeah, that must be ash from the tree. That is like... Is that a boss fight? Uh, that looks like a boss fight. I got 50,000 runes, man. I don't got time for another boss fight already. Yeah, that's a boss fight. Weak foe ahead. Weak foe. Sorcery. Swimming pool is now functional. My wife just told me she missed you? Me? Really? Thanks. Tara said thank you. That's Oh nice. That's that's very sweet of her, thank you. Tell her I said thank you. She said you look healthy. Well I've been eating my veggies. You know, eating my multivitamins as well. Thank you. My acne <coughs> My acne has cleared up also a little bit too. I really don't want to fight that guy already. I'm gonna have so many runes. Try likes you better than the Degen IRL streamers. Yeah, that was also another point I was gonna make. My competition for being a quality streamer isn't that high when all that you watch are degenerates who say racial slurs in public, e-girls, and drunk bumps, so, you know, so my competition isn't that high. Chase that e-girl I work with, I know you mentioned that multiple times, and I understand that. You can keep telling your wife, it's just business, it's just, you know, I get paid a percentage and stuff, but yeah, it kind of makes sense. 
You're the best quality streamer I know. Thank you, then. I do my best, man. At least I try to do my best. Okay, I'm just hoping this guy is an easy kill. She caught me on a call with her and lost it, so I had to do damage control. <laughs> I mean, it, it kind of makes sense. Could be better if you had... Never mind. Okay. I won't ask. <sighs> A mouse pad, yep. This guy's definitely a boss. Uh, whatever. Yeah, this is the guy who was at the round table, I'm pretty sure. And of course he has potions. Dude, how do you keep missing? Oh, that was the girl? The the picture of the high kick? Nice. I feel like you there was a certain theme with your images. You kept you kept just submitting like those eye roll streams that you watch and the girls I was getting that feeling I put away the I put away the foot man did I drink it in time damn I think I did Two hundred and fifty-two thousand. I got it just in time, baby. Just in time, I got it. That was easy runes. There you go. Ah, <laughs> chat look good. It's it's on my lip. No milkshake is coming out, so it's just stuck on my lip. <laughs> Sucking that thing like it owes you. It does. It owes me milk. Holy, dude. That guy's speech lasted for so long, I can actually go to my inventory, equip the foot, and get 252,000 runes, baby. He, he, he took so much time to die, it gave me plenty of time to do it. That's a good one, Rem. Nice. Yeah, that was an easy boss. But 250,000 runes. Damn. That's just, that's like free, what, four upgrades at least? Three? That's nah, only two. All right. I 
I like how also all the bosses are now getting potions as well, so it takes a little bit longer. Okay, yeah, now I'm back at uh, this place. Okay, now I'm even less sure where to go. Actually, no, let me go back here and go down that place. I still don't know, why was the guy who was at the round table, that on fear guy, why was he a boss all of a sudden? I thought he was supposed to be like a a friend of the the thing. Only have trouble with the fire giant? Oh yeah, dude, Angel, I had so much trouble with that guy. He was so annoying. Yeah, the beast clergyman, yeah, all those guys. I just, um... This stick sensitivity sucks. It's just, the stick is just sensitive. I don't know. I don't know what else to. I don't know. Oh, Christ. I'm so glad I landed on this beam. Crimson Amber Medallion plus two. Vasi raises maximum HP. Did anybody get something like that? Physical damage negation, lowers FP, raises intelligence, maximum stamina. Damage negation versus maximum Yeah, I need I need more, because I'm gonna get hit. Nonetheless. That was a little boost right there. Well, there's so many deaths right here, Jesus. No, I've never been down here before. The subterranean shunning grounds. Laggardly sort. These guys were fighting something. Still got you. Time for sleep. Oh, poison boing darts. We meet again. <laughs> I, st I still consider poison boing darts the best item in the game. The best ones. It's not surprising that I missed this place because this that city was way too big. There were too many knights which I can't kill, so it makes perfect sense.
Uh, of course they do that. Oh, there it is, right there. Damn it. Already another level up. Nice. Uh, I should probably do some more intelligence now. Where's my... Entering 120, intelligence 52. It's already at 55. 40, we got 38, that, 1, endurance 18, Christ. I'm kind of low in certain areas in my benchmark. I'm just going to try to keep pace. Still the same flasks. My milkshake thing. I still can't drink it. Why not? Oh, there was a frozen. There was a frozen bit in there. Dude, milkshakes, man. Okay, first of all, doll reacts has never been an actual thing. And second of all, I don't like reacting. I think it's like it's terrible. It's terrible content. The only type of reacting I've planned was um I've only planned one react type of thing, but I don't know when I'm going to do it. I'm going to watch a certain type of uh, media I think would be kind of interesting. Yeah, it's just, it's just whenever.
Oh, door. Christ, all right. A ladder, indeed. Blood soaked mansions and mask. You don't have the right, oh you don't have the right. You don't have the right, yep. Some more dudes over there. I'll try the ladder first. Is that an imp? Yep. Freezing grease. Almost. Missed that. I almost didn't see that gap there. Care of beetle. Ah, oh, giant lobster. I always did too many uh, potions on those things. Did you go under it? Just went around it. Another one. Oh, 
Oh, I think they're inv are they are they invisible? Definitely defeat Moog easily. All right, I believe in you. Hey, if you believe in me, then that's good enough, Angel. Should I get to the area which is somewhere else? Okay. I'm not sure if I'm on the right path, like, story-wise. Because, man, these places are too big sometimes. Hops for days. Shadow beat. Cash out that lures the aggression of foes of human build. Neat. I may actually do a faith in arcane build next. Probably not on stream, but as like a separate uh, off off stream thing. Side ahead. Can I bless you with this? I can't lock on anymore. Come on. Ah, son of a bitch. This is how we f do, do boss fights now. Between a gate. <laughs> Nice. 
son of a bitch got too far away. Got him. Like on the tip of my sword. somehow. There we go. Alright. Took a while, but I got it. Oh, his, his body just stuck upright. There it is. Proper rest. Oh, this is back where I started. Oh, yeah, I just circled around. Alright. So I guess n next is just... Either that one. Actually, I gotta... Heal up again. Oh yeah, that's a winner mentality right there. Do you think Camilla has a shot? I don't know if the citizens can respect the Indian press. I don't know who that is. But for the sake, uh, I'll say no, she probably doesn't have a shot. Obama didn't back her, then yeah, probably not. Any fire? Nah. Yeah, then probably not. Another one? No, no, let me just stop with. Why, because she's a woman? Well, I've never heard of her, so... She's probably not that significant. She's an Indian woman who's been propping Biden up? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's probably not the best person to prop up, but... Maybe she have like a choice. Wait. I don't know why I'm crafting some of these fire ones. I don't even need that much. No, she's not very good at her job. Okay. And that's probably why. I like how Dolly doesn't know who the vice president is. 
I mean, there's really no, there's really no point. I just know they're never going to do anything effective, anything good at all. Either due to ineptitude or indifference. They'll come, they'll go. It's like, eh. Good point, no one remembers who came in second place. Yeah, exactly. What's the point? I don't see how well this fire pot works on the plant. Is there a third one? Christ. That's it. Oh, I need magic, damn it. Fuck my aim to pieces. Yeah. What? Ah, uh, I switch back. miss anything, right? Yeah, of course, ambush. Oh, fuck the hands. All right. I have no magic. Fuck. Sword does a lot. Damn. Why is it always fingers? Runark have yet to use those effectively. Yep, I'm out of uh, magic. I'm out of magic. Oh, I just saw that trap. Jesus Christ. If it wasn't for that message, I wouldn't have seen that trap. Oh, 
Oh, I don't have my sword in hand. What the fuck? I'm wondering why am I not sorting him to death? I also took a massive spooky cookie today. I can't tell if that actually means a cookie or you took a, a crap. I don't know if that's cold for something, but nice. Good job. I guess I must have missed that. There's one right here. Actually, okay, screw it though. I need to save magic. Ah, oh, those things. Don't have time, don't have time, don't have time. You just run past them. I gotta just like you just run past them. Don't have to fight them. What is with that aim? Fuck the architecture, man. I still wonder to this day, how do those Spider hands eat. Uh, I don't feel like answering that question. Like, how do they consume calories to live? I, I'm still wondering that. Hey, Dollar Face Duffer took a golden shit worth of $4 million. Would you suck his cock and get the golden shit he took? And he would give it to you, no problem, for the mother of all full bore, blowjob, no condom, would you, question mark, times like 50. No, I wouldn't. I didn't even like understand what's that question, so I just didn't deal with it. Yes, you do shit gold? Wow. You so you're a rich, rich man. Yeah, face offer is a bro. Okay, then 
He's the face of Canadian landscaping. That is actually true. Okay, do I need a key? Where the f... Alright, where is the key then? I went through all the routes besides trying to open up that one door. That didn't work. What the f- what's happening to the time? I just feel like a lot of time is passing. Alright, those were fun, I guess. No, I'm still at base game. Base game is way too big to like just jump into it. Just locked. Uh, where do you go? Underground roadside. over here because this is definitely an optional area I'm just not feeling good about exploring it although I sh I'm trying to say I hope it's an optional area another dude he has returned the lord has returned at long last our very first lord to brandish the elder ring once more yep cedarem is a sexy fuck true There's just no one here. Everyone's dead. Is that elk blood stain? This is a pizza stream. Uh, sure. Was there a boss over here? God damn it. I'm not ready for a boss. Earth Tree Heal. Vast heals HP for itself and nearby allies. That would be nice. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a boss fight. Oh. I'm gonna do a boss fight already. 
I just came back from a boss fight. This game, it, right now it's too much back-to-back back -back boss fights. Like, where's the breathing room? You know, like, allow some relaxation. Can't make any poison. But I didn't say I, but I didn't say I didn't love this game. I'm just critiquing its structure. It's too much back-to-back -back boss fights. Allow some like relax. Just because I like this game doesn't mean I have to like every single part of it. I can critique parts and pieces. Yeah, that's good, I guess. Uh, let's fight whoever this is and die. Oh, yeah, definitely. That'll be easy to make. An MP2 mod for Elden Ring. No friend ahead, but by the way, let it be suffering. So I can't use summons? Is that what they're saying? Are you ready? Jump attack acquired ahead. Oh god, cutscene. It's been a long while, Morgoth. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. That's my name. Spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Damn, that is searing. Smokey the Bear would be disappointed. Who are you? To be granted audience once more. On my name as Godfrey. That his name is Godfrey. Godfrey the Elden Lord. Oh! Gotcha. Gotcha again, bitch. Christ alive. Okay, that... That attack death is annoying. I want to throw hands with that guy. Understandable already.
times it. Itch. Where's my shit? In. Go away. I gotta make sure I equip the uh, the golden foot again. Because I'm not missing out on getting massive runes like that again. He better not have a second phase. If he has a second phase, I swear. Dude, the upkeep on this castle must be insane. All these like bricks and clay or whatever, the concrete. I'm trying to upkeep this. Again, either this kingdom is very rich or they have a lot of slaves. I gotta tell something about this dude. What is it? Canadian landscaping. They should probably employ some of those guys. Ah, uh, good time at that time. Sure they didn't. Alright. What kind of war crimes can Canadians commit? Mass littering? Like what are they supposed to actually do?
He's just murdering my guy. Jesus. That isn't annoying. Ah, oh, second phase, fuck off. He yeah, hasn't find the first Elden Lord, I look up Canadian war crimes. do. Did he kill it? Took a steroids. Oh no. Now I fight as horror loo. Kind of a dumb name. Okay, this transformation is kind of lame. That one is still just terrible. At least he's not throwing that stupid axe thing the entire time. I should maybe go for phase two summons. Okay, now he just all wants to like hug up on me. I want to give that guy some lip. I feel you, man. I'm thinking, let's, let me save this. I'll save this. I still have some daylight left before I gotta go to bed, so I'm gonna take care of some business. Plan out some more content. You know, all that good stuff. So, da, da, da. yeah, I'll call it right there. Pretty good stream. Fine, nice to have the green screen presentations back. Yeah, um... Yes, yeah, speaking of what Faceover mentioned, I have planned on doing... a reacting to... Dude, you're talking about Canadian World War I war crimes. Canadian World Canadian troops were heavy users of poison gas. They were notorious for shooting prisoners, and they enthusiastically engaged in gruesome forms of intimate warfare that most of the others in the Western Front Army tried desperately to avoid. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's some horrible stuff. Yeah, that's something you'll find on Instagram Reels. Well, no, um, I was just making a joke what you said. No, not Instagram reels. I want to. I want to watch something a lot more interesting. I think. Also, speaking of which, I did find some pretty weird ones again, today. Oh, let me show you. Quick. Quick little share sesh, of reels that I downloaded. 
it's more the same stuff, you know, like edgy, goofy, or homoerotic stuff. Uh, let's see. Okay. Boomers download reels. I'm not a boomer. Oh, this, one, this one's kind of good. Found my found my blind brother listening to Where's Waldo audiobooks. That was pretty funny. Okay, I found another one. It says, some random Chinese factory in 2017 getting back into production after I order some fidget spinners for $8. And there's these guys who, who invented reverse basketball. They're throwing a hoop on a ball. They invented reverse basketball. It's kind of, kind of nice. Oh, there's another one. This one I think is both like edgy and goofy. Me with the nuke duct taped to my chest, showing the aliens exactly why the stars aren't theirs to conquer. I always kind of like like those types of rules that take a very absurd like topic or approach, but for something very stupid. Oh, this one's also good. When you just get done building the Tower of Babel, but your homie starts talking to you like this. Okay. I downloaded the same video twice. <laughs> okay, another one. The caption says, when I take a sip of the potion. <laughs> I'm really like... Oh. The caption says, when I take <laughs> when I take a sip of the potion of temporary retardation, it's fast acting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is another one. Me staring at the McDonald's worker after she called out order 83 and 84, but I'm still waiting for 82. <laughs> I think that's all I got in terms of like the funny ones. Some good ones. Okay. <laughs> My favorite is the... Uh, the duct tape nuke to the chest and the the, the potion one. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know what I'm I'm gonna plan that react thing since I don't normally do that. But I quit what? The stream? Well, I still have, I still have some daylight left. I'm gonna take care of some business before I go to bed. I can do a short stream, yeah, like Tuesday or Wednesday when I have off. Next stream would be planned on tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue Elden Ring or start the variety stuff. No, I'm not going to beat my meat. I'm going to take care of actual business business. You do you say be honest every time I tell you it's tomorrow, you laugh because I'm you think I'm lying, and then I stream tomorrow and then you look even more like a dumbass than you already do, Rem. Let's just get over it already. Stop with like the falseness.
I didn't live at the time. I was going to start stream, but I had tech problems. Would you bang Angel if his life depend on it? Sure, why not? I don't care. Believe me or not, I don't care. I'm going to stream tomorrow. Either continue the Elden Ring or start with the variety stuff. Not sure. Yeah, you can continue living, Angel. Wonderful. What do you mean news? I don't do news. I don't give a fuck about the news. No. No, I don't care about the news. No, I'm not doing that. Let's see what happened. Thank you for the one bit rem and angel. Thank you for the sub wounded as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing the news. Fuck that. All right, see you tomorrow. That's that.